Chapter 1039. A Pair of Wings for a Shield. Hung. The golden-flamed rock giant swung his hammer with all his strength, and the hammer flew at golden-horned beast with a thunderous rumble. The force within the golden thread aurora domain was rendered defenseless. One strike from this hammer and stars like the star traveler or the neutron star would shatter and be reduced to naught. Even the black hole would have crumbled beneath such a strike. The golden-flamed rock giant growled as he deployed his strongest strike. The environment within the original star did not shatter, but it was not because the hammer was not powerful enough, it was because the environment within the original star had unique traits. Peng. The hammer collided with the golden light blade of a pair of wings. With hands still grasping his hammer, the golden flamed rock giant was thrown backward and propelled into the air, where his rocky legs lost contact with solid ground. He was forcibly suspended in mid-air. That loathsome space beast. The golden flamed rock giant roared in rage. Crush the prison race. Golden horned beast transformed into a ray of light and made a turn back before landing again. The golden light blade sliced through the air, looking as if it could make mincemeat out of every obstacle in the way. Peng. 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 Strike after strike. The golden flamed rock giant was not as agile as golden horned beast, with its shy woo wings. Moreover, the golden thread aurora domain had met with heavy resistance and was attacked under pressure. Golden horned beast was enormous. Hence, his shy wu wings could spread as wide as tens of thousands of miles. Should it flap one wing down, the golden flamed rock giant being would not be able to hide even if it wanted to. Remote ocean body was like the ding eye divine needle as he stood before the black blade. While watching the two twelve-winged knights of the prison race in the distance, he was also manipulating the gigantic beast god, while it hunted down the two knights of the prison race. Hung. Long. Long. Beast god was roaring while racing in mid-air quick as a phantom. The moment the two black-winged knights made it slightly further away, the beast god would no longer give chase. The beast god was tasked with guarding a certain area around the black blade. If the two knights of the prison race trespassed this area, they would be attacked. It was imperative to understand that the beast god was a true treasure in the form of a spiritual force weapon and had an extremely swift flying speed. Now that it was coupled with golden thread aurora domain. The moment the two black winged great beings of prison race set foot within this guarded area, they would be knocked out within a split second. Peng. A black winged great being was sent flying out straight away. The other black winged great charging into that area from the opposite direction approached the gradually ascending black blade at top speed. Roar. Beast God let out a roar and set off in the opposite direction so quickly that he left a trail behind him. Right away, he rammed into the black winged great being with a loud crash, swatting it into the distance. Ah. What should we do? We can't force our way in. Said one of the black winged beings. The two twelve black wings great beings traveled far away enough while transmitting their message to the golden flamed rock giant. That spiritual force weapon is way too fast. And they have a domain type treasure. We have used up 3% of our godly bodies, yet that loathsome purple pupa beast has not even used one one thousandth of its godly body. We can't afford to go on like this. The golden flamed rock giant gave a thunderous roar of rage. He was at his wit's end. Although he was huge, the portion of the godly body he used up was small. He was aware that the golden horned beast before him would use up an amount even smaller than he had. Even if he were to set his entire godly body ablaze, the golden horned beast might not even have used up 1% of its godly body. But the golden flamed rock giant suddenly transmitted a confident response. Ha ha ha. I can sense great beings of other races approaching. Fight a little while longer. These two space beasts will definitely feel flustered when the other beings arrive. That is when we seize our opportunity. The two twelve black wings great beings scanned their surroundings, instantaneously feeling joyful. As expected, two troops appeared coming from two different directions. Huh. Remote Ocean Body said, noticing the new arrivals. That is a group from the Northern Territory Alliance, a total of three Universe Knights. And the other group is from the Hong Alliance. They have two Universe Knights. Remote Ocean Lo Feng looked around and made a speedy judgment. Given my current identity, the group from the Hong Alliance will see me only as one of the Space Beast Alliance. And they'll react accordingly. There was no way he could bother himself with any other concerns. He had to deal with the three universe knights of the prison race, while keeping an eye on the black blade that was gradually ascending from the ground. Gradually, it arose. 
the entire tip of the black blade had nearly emerged. Almost there, it is going to come out fully soon. Lo Feng was anxious and expectant. Hurry, hurry, hurry. If I hope to stand any chance at all, it must be fully revealed before the other groups arrive. The two troops flew over quickly. Although the members from the Hong Alliance were not humans, they made their judgment quickly. Ha ha ha. It is a valuable. Definitely a true treasure. And still in the midst of being born. The treasure has yet to recognize its master. Hurry up. While the Space Beast group and the group from the prison race are engaged in a deadlock, we should quickly grab the treasure right out from under them. Meanwhile, the three Universe Knights of the Northern Territory Alliance troop were thrilled, realizing they had been presented with a great opportunity. They took off for the treasure as though their lives depended on it. The Northern Territory Alliance was said to be the alliance consisting of the greatest number of races in the universe. A tremendous number of races gathered as one, bringing the number of Universe Knights within the Northern Territory Alliance to an extreme high. For example, in the open-air public square of the World of Glory of the Ancestral God School, the number of heirs from the Hong Alliance was merely in the thousands, while that of the Northern Territory Alliance was in the tens of thousands. There was a sizable difference, meaning that within the original star, troops of Universe Knights from the Northern Territory Alliance were seen more than any other group. When compared with the six pinnacle races like the human race, the distribution of resources, like treasures for great beings of similar power, were fewer in number. Out of the three Universe Knights of the Northern Territory Alliance, one was over 30 feet tall. He had purple gold plates all over his body, and he flew toward the black blade at top speed. Upon careful observation, he started to show a hint of confusion. Huh? He said. That seems to be. Impossible. It can't be. Hurry. 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 Lo Feng agonized with anxiety. The black blade may have ascended to its tip, but it was emerging much more slowly than the approach of the groups of beings flying toward it. The two troops of Universe Knights from the Hong Alliance and the Northern Territory Alliance were still approaching at a consistently high rate of speed, even though they were within the Golden Thread Aurora domain. Ha ha ha. You can't make it. The golden flamed rock giant of the prison race laughed aloud. Space Beast, you will not be able to get that true treasure. It is not yours to claim. Golden Horned Beast let out a thunderous roar of rage. Hong. Golden Horned Beast waved its wings suddenly, immediately turning back to the area surrounding the Black Blade. Hua. Remote Ocean Lo Feng also took a step back to stand beside the Black Blade. Come on. Remote Ocean Body and Golden Horned Beast were both standing near the Black Blade, obviously guarding it with their lives. They just had to endure for a short while longer, and this true treasure would be theirs. I would stand against greater than universe knights than all of you. Remote Ocean Lo Feng thought. Even if you were Universe Overlords, Golden Horned Beast has the Force Armor. It is fearless. My remote ocean body may be slightly weaker in terms of strength. The Golden King Armor can only be activated up to its second form, which means it could weaken the power of material attacks to 1-1000. It may be weaker than Force Armor. But remote ocean body is huge. Defending with its sheer brute strength should be possible for a short while at least. Remote ocean body and Golden Horned Beast were like two mountains. One stood by the black blade while the other hovered above it to ward off any beings who dared to venture near. Meanwhile, the groups from the Hong Alliance and the Northern Territory Alliance both realized that the other groups had appeared. Kill. Kill. Grab the true treasure. Hurry up, the other five troops are arriving soon. We need to hurry. Three groups, the Hong Alliance, the Northern Territory Alliance, and the Prison Race, comprised of eight senior universe knights. Plus, the Space Beast group was charging toward the center. Hong. 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 The three troops transformed into rays of light simultaneously and charged. Ha. Golden Horned Beast immediately spread its wings and stood at the forefront. Hua. Hua. Its wings suddenly increased in size. The Shai Wu wings, being a true treasure, could change colors at will, and this time, they were a magnificent gold. They spread wide open without inhibition, expanding outward in all directions. They became gigantic, easily spreading over 100,000 miles in a mere instant. The monstrous pair of wings surrounded the black blade like a mother hen protecting her chicks. Anyone who wanted to grab the black blade would have to forcefully move those wings out of the way. Attack. Ha ha ha. He actually thinks to resist us. Kill him. The eight senior universe knights launched their attacks as one. 
One knight from the Hong Alliance held a flying wheel, an ordinary true treasure, and was exceptionally generous with his attacks. Numerous crashes sounded as attacks were thrown towards the golden wings. Golden horned beast stood firmly within the swamp, its four strong limbs like heavenly pillars. The depths of the swamp were unable to even submerge its claws. Its wings were propped up high and mighty. Hong. 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 The eight senior universe knights' joint effort boosted their power to the level of universe overlords. They struck repeatedly. I must stand with this bit of power. Golden horned beast said. He stood his ground, stable as a mountain. Regardless of the number of strikes dealt, the Shai Wu wings and the force armor combined to weaken each impact. With these treasures, combined with its gigantic godly body, warding off the attacks was a piece of cake. The eight senior universe knights from the Northern Territory Alliance, the Hong Alliance, and the prison race instantly concluded that this situation was beyond their expectations. Those wings are a true treasure. It must be a true treasure. Few treasures can expand to such a size. No matter how big a treasure can be, to be jointly attacked by eight senior universe knights, the size should reduce, or it would disintegrate. That pair of wings must be a true treasure. Ordinary treasures could be destroyed by some universe overlords. Even for a top-tier treasure. Whether it shrank to ward off attacks or intentionally enlarged so that the impact of the attack would be weakened, no matter what it did, escaping unscathed was out of the question. Yet the combined attacks of eight senior universe knights proved futile against Golden Horned Beast. At that moment, Golden Horned Beast and Remote Ocean Body shifted their gazes over to the Black Blade. The tip of the Black Blade was finally out of the swamp, and it was now hovering over the spot where it had emerged. Its aura was now fully restrained. It seemed like an ordinary treasure. Treasure, come to me. Golden Horned Beast gave a deep command. Immediately, a trace of godly power headed for the Black Blade, ready to brand the blade with his life imprint. Chapter 1040? Blade River Low. Lo Fang infiltrated the Black Blade with a trace of his godly power and sealed his life imprint on it, making the blade recognize him as its owner. Huh? Golden Horned Beast's eyes glinted with confusion. What's going on? Why is there no information being transferred? Remote Ocean Lo Feng was also looking down at the Black Blade, perplexed. Usually, when a treasure or true treasure recognized someone as its owner, it would transfer information to the owner's mind. The information was generally a description of the weapon or the techniques used to utilize the valuables. There were, of course, exceptions, like Star Map, Shai Wu Wing, and Tower Pearl. If the great being who created the valuable had left information behind, there would be information contained in the valuable. Tower Pearl was a part of Star Tower, and so it didn't contain any information. As for Star Map, it was an ordinary true treasure created by Zuo Shan Ki, with a picture scroll and lots of seal stars. That was why some true treasures and ordinary treasures didn't contain any information. However, according to the intel Kuang's United gathered, true treasures and ordinary treasures that came into being on original stars were bred by the universe. They were supposed to carry information innately. This one did not seem to have anything. Weird, Lo Feng was baffled. Hong. 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 The eight senior universe knights attacked the wing of Golden Horned Beast relentlessly, disrupting Lo Feng's thoughts. Su. Golden Horned Beast shrank its giant black blade and merged it with his body. Howl. He howled, making the sky and land tremble. At the same time, the gigantic golden wing quickly reduced in size from hundreds of thousands of miles wide to tens of thousands of miles wide, and he revealed Golden Horned Beast and remote ocean body. The eight supreme beings were disappointed. The true treasure is taken. It has recognized him as its master. Goddamn space beast. Let's go. They all glared at remote ocean body and golden horned beast body. The three great beings of the prison race left first. The other five universe knights of the Hong Alliance and the Northern Territory Alliance were also upset and gave up on their hopes of claiming the valuable. They all knew that they stood a chance if the valuable hadn't recognized him as its owner. However, the only way they could capture the valuable was to kill the Golden Horned Beast, and Golden Horned Beast was able to defend himself against all eight of them. If he wanted to flee, there was no way they could stop him. They were all upset. The size of the Golden Horned Beast was what stopped them from taking the valuable by force. His godly body is too enormous, and our godly bodies might be burned out before we can kill him. We should have gotten here soon. The true treasure fell into the hands of space beasts. Ha ha. You guys are late. Golden Horned Beast said in a hoarse voice. You just got lucky. Let's go. 
the three universe knights of Northern Territory Alliance and Hong Alliance left. Golden Horned Beast Body and Remote Ocean Body watched them go. He saw one team after another coming here, following the energy signature of the true treasure. Go. Remote Ocean Body shrank to 30 feet tall, and Golden Horned Beast shrank to around 300 feet long. Golden Horned Beast waved his wings with Remote Ocean Body sitting on his back. Sue. That space beast has got the valuable. Grumbled a new arrival. Let's go. We need to wait until next time. Is it a top tier set treasure or an ordinary true treasure? The Universe Knights speculated about what had happened with their companions. They were all puzzled, but they had to leave. On the original stars, those who were closest to the valuables when they appeared were the luckiest ones. Here, great beings needed both power and luck. The three Universe Knights of the Northern Territory Alliance were flying back to the place they inhabited, the apex of a small mountain. Those space beasts are indeed lucky. The Space Beast Alliance is mysterious and powerful. Those two have a domain type valuable, a wing true treasure, and now a black blade true treasure. They were all talking among themselves, and the universe knight made of metal was ruminating. That. That pattern. It is that valuable. The purple metal knight's eyes gleamed. He isolated them from the surroundings with his godly power and looked to the strange beast knight with hundreds of soft dorsal fins around his mouth. Hundred Raccoon Knight, he said, you have a body at the center of our alliance, right? Send a message to our alliance and tell them that we just found the godly blade of Blade River Low. Blade River Low? Both Universe Knights were dazed. Hundred Raccoon Knight's eyes glinted with excitement. The legendary top-tier true treasure, Blade River Low? Blade River Low was the most attractive true treasure in a century after the original stars had opened. A giant tomb came out from underground. It was the Tomb of the Blade. The Blade Tomb. An ancient tablet on the Blade Tomb told that there were many godly blades and several ordinary true treasures. And the most precious of all were the components of Blade River Low, which were made of a compass and nine godly blades. Once all the godly blades were integrated into the compass, it could become a boundless blade river, and it was omnipotent. If all the nine blades merged into one, the power was even more terrific. It was a domain-type treasure, but it had the attacking power of a pinnacle true treasure. The compass itself was already a domain-type ordinary true treasure. Its power could be improved with one blade blending in, the more the godly blades inside the compass, the more powerful the compass would become. It would reach the perfect status once all the godly blades merged with it. It was such a superb true treasure. The last time the compass showed itself, it only carried one black blade. A godly blade of Blade River Low? Where did we find it? Hundred Raccoon Knight asked. Where were we? The moment the other Universe Knight talked, the Purple Metal Universe Knight said, it's the true treasure, the Black Blade the two space beasts obtained. I've seen the photos of Blade River Low, and the Black Blade we just saw was exactly the same as the blade in the photos. Black Raccoon Knight was startled. Go. Go tell our alliance. The Purple Metal Knight shouted. Sure. Hundred Raccoon Knight nodded. Many supreme beings who entered the original stars had left their clone with their own race, but there were also some who left their original bodies behind. Clones were able to send simple messages, but they weren't capable of dealing with important issues. My clone has entered the center of our alliance. A universe master is meeting me, Hundred Raccoon Knight murmured. After a long while. I've told the universe master what happened, and I've replicated the shape of the black blade using my mind. The Universe Master I spoke with confirmed that it's indeed a component of Blade River Low. There are few true treasures, and it's almost impossible to have true treasures of the same pattern and come into being on the original stars in such a short period of time. It's got to be a godly blade of Blade River Low. The Universe Master asked us not to take any actions. He has told some Universe Overlords closest to this original star and Fumo Master to come here. And he has marked our contribution. Hundred Raccoon looked at his companions, and they all smiled. The Northern Territory Alliance immediately arranged great beings to go to the original star Lo Feng was staying on. Inside the virtual universe, in an open-air bar, many universe knights of the Hong Alliance city gathered. Almost all the great beings who entered original stars left clones, and they used them to connect to the virtual universe. This was how they conveyed information. Another true treasure showed up. See? It's this one. I saw it myself. What true treasure? Come here and see. On which original star? Everyone was interested in what happened on the original stars. Look, this is the photo of it. 
a bald-headed golden-eyed great being covered with body hair was showing everyone a photo. This true treasure surfaced from the swamp. Unfortunately, I arrived late, and the true treasure was captured by two great beings of the Space Beast Alliance. A true treasure. What a pity. You can't get the true treasure even it's right in front of you, and what's worse, it was taken by the Space Beast Alliance. What could I do? The bald-headed universe knight said. Both great beings of the Space Beast Alliance have godly bodies of around 6,000 miles long. Do you really think I can still get it back? Even universe overlords would have a hard time facing such gigantic bodies. Isn't this the godly blade of Blade River Low? Yeah. It's the godly blade of Blade River Low. Everyone was thrilled. Meanwhile, Lo Feng was walking toward the open air bar. So strange, he thought. The valuable on the original star has already recognized me as its master, but it still hasn't sent me any information. Lo Feng was bewildered, and thus he connected to the virtual universe and came to the place where the great beings of Hong Alliance shared information. He wanted to ask some of his friends about it. Kuang Zhu Knight, Lo Feng shouted when he saw Kuang Zhu Knight. Kuang Zhu turned toward him and beamed. Blade River. Lo Feng walked towards him, smiling. Suddenly, he frowned as a being caught his attention. It's him. Lo Feng recognized that bald universe knight. It was one of the two universe knights of the Hong Alliance who had attacked him. Chapter 1041. Escape. When Lo Feng's mind was still in the virtual universe, three great beings gathered in the forest under the whirlpool portal on the original star where Lo Feng was staying. We arrived here as fast as we could under the order of our alliance, said one of them. It seems we're the first ones to arrive. Yes, replied another. Once those space beasts find out that the godly Black Blade is a part of Blade River Low, they'll all rush to that whirlpool portal. If they succeed, they can do teleportation and god country transportation, and we can't catch them anymore. We must safeguard this place and stop them from doing that. So, we'll just wait here? The third one said in a deep voice. There will be a group of universe overlords arriving here, and Fumo Master may also arrive. That's only a godly blade of Blade River Low. How many contribution points do you think we can earn? In my opinion, Wang Jia Knight can guard this place while Bei Feng Knight and I attack him first. Bei Feng Knight and I together could kill those space beasts. Well, were you still hesitating? Said the one with the deep low voice. Other universe overlords will arrive soon. Are you on board, Bei Feng Knight? I am, said a timid voice. Okay. I'm on board too, but remember, if we get the godly blade, we need to divide the contribution points equitably among us three. Of course. They looked at each other and smiled. Sue. Sue. Two creatures flew up in the sky. One of them was around 100 feet tall. He was a repulsive creature with three horns on his head and eyes like a hawk. He had thick, sturdy arms, and he grasped an ancient spear with three bloodstains on the tip. As for the other one, he was around 30 feet tall and was entirely enveloped by a black cape. Even his face was covered by a black mask. Bei Feng Knight, you can attack his soul first. Said the three-horned knight holding the ancient spear. If you can't kill them directly, you can affect them. Then I'll engage in close combat with them with my burning godly body, my ultimate techniques, and my key blood spear. Even if the space beasts are wearing ordinary true treasure armor, my terrific attack can rival that from a universe master. Their armor might only be able to weaken the attack to 1 1,000th or even 1 100th. Your key blood spear is a might senior true treasure, said Bei Feng Knight, smiling behind his black mask and black cape. We'll definitely succeed. Key Blood Palace Leader was a renowned universe overlord in the Northern Territory Alliance. He had three true treasures, and the weapon he used for close quarters combat was a senior true treasure. Together with his close quarters combat techniques, he could even fight with a universe master for a short time. Once he attacked with his full strength, it would surpass the limit of an ordinary true treasure. Within the limit, the third form of an ordinary true treasure armor could weaken the material attack by 99.99%. However, once the attacks are past the limit of the true treasure, its function would sharply decline and could only weaken it to 1 1,000th, 1 100th, 1 10th. It might even break. That was why ordinary true treasures were disdained by universe masters. Although they have larger godly bodies, I can kill them with my key blood spear by attacking them several times. Key blood palace leader transmitted the voice while flying at high speed. Bei Feng Knight, just use your soul attack to stop them from running away. I heard that the golden horned beast has a wing true treasure. Just leave it to me. 
Bei Feng Knight and Qi Blood Palace leader, raced toward Lo Feng like two flashes of light. Lo Feng was the first one to arrive at the birthplace where the Black Blade unveiled itself, so the Northern Territory Alliance quickly extrapolated that Lo Feng must be staying in an area close to the birthplace. That was how Bei Feng Knight and Qi Blood Palace leader knew where they should be heading. Inside the virtual universe. Lo Feng looked at the bald universe knight in the distance, shocked by what he saw. Him? One of the two universe knights from the Hong Alliance who fought against us for the valuable? At the same time, a large group of universe knights gathered around that bold universe knight. They seemed to be engaged in an exciting conversation. Lo Feng listened in, hearing every word that was being said. Blade River Lo. A godly blade of Blade River Lo. Rumor has it that the compass of Blade River Lo was obtained by a universe master of the Thorn Ring Alliance. That universe master. He must be dying to acquire other blades and will be willing to get the blades at an extremely high cost. It looks like an ordinary true treasure, but it's at least as valuable as a senior true treasure. That's right. Blade River Low will be perfect only when all the blades are gathered, and as long as there's one blade hiding with us, the Hong Alliance, the Thorn Ring Alliance, will get it back. What a shame. Those two space beasts got it. A godly blade of Blade River Low? Thought Lo Feng in surprise. Taken by two space beasts? Unfortunately, I was late, said the bald universe knight. He shook his head. The picture of the black blade was still floating in front of him. Otherwise, I would have got the godly blade. Lo Feng was amazed. God. The black godly blade he had obtained was a godly blade of Blade River Lo. Lo Feng was aware of its power and force based on some brief descriptions, it was a top-tier domain-type true treasure, and it had the attacking power of that of a pinnacle true treasure. It was at least as valuable as Thousand Treasures River after all the blades merged with the compass. A voice came from afar. Quick. Tell us where the godly blade unveiled itself. Yes. Tell us now. We'll be there as soon as possible. We can kill those space beasts and get the godly blade together, after which the Thorn Ring Alliance will be willing to pay a high price for it. We can also give it to our alliance, and it will definitely give us many contribution points. I need to flee. Lo Feng thought, suddenly realizing that he was in great danger. Blade River. Kuang Zhu Knight said and ran toward him. I have some issues to deal with right now, Kuang Zhu Knight, said Lo Feng. I'll talk to you later. Lo Feng then disappeared, which bewildered Kuang Zhu Knight. In the forest on the original star where Lo Feng was staying. Quick, 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 said Lo Feng. Remote Ocean Lo Feng and the Golden Horned Beast immediately stood up. Many great beings from Hong Alliance will gather soon, he said. I need to leave now. The prison race, the Hong Alliance, and the Northern Territory Alliance all saw the Black Blade when I got the valuable. Great beings from the Hong Alliance have now started to gather. They might not have enough time to stop me, but those from the Northern Territory Alliance and the prison race will be here very soon. Remote Ocean Lo Feng shrank to six feet tall and sat on Golden Horned Beast's back. Escape was his only option this time. The golden horned beast was speedy when it came to fleeing, and he was the best at defending himself against dangers. Su. The golden horned beast became 30 feet long and opened his wing. He burned his godly power and flew. Under the burning godly power and the true treasure Shai Wu wing, he zoomed like a beam of golden light. At that moment, two universe overlords, Qi Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight of the Northern Territory Alliance, were flying toward him. The original star was enormous. Traveling at light speed, it took almost an hour to fly from the Whirlpool portal to the forest where Lo Feng stayed. That was why Qi Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight weren't there yet. As a matter of fact, the great beings from the Northern Territory Alliance were all rushing toward the original star Lo Feng was staying on. Including Fu Mo Master. However, even Fu Mo Master had to fly toward the Whirlpool portal slowly. Each original star was identical, having a diameter of 60 billion miles. Even someone flying at light speed, he could only travel at 6 billion miles in an hour, meaning it would take a long time if they were far from the whirlpool. The great beings gathered together by the Northern Territory Alliance were already rushing there as fast as they could. Finally, Key Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight saw it. Look, it's the golden light. It's that golden horned beast. They were racing toward Lo Feng from the whirlpool, while Lo Feng rushed to the whirlpool. Naturally, they could see each other midway. Both remote ocean body and the golden horned beast saw those two flashes of light. Huh. 
They might be some great beings from other races, but it's unlikely that they're here to come after me. How is it possible that they're that fast? Oh well. I'll just run to another original star later. Sue. The golden horned beast kept flying, and he sometimes turned to keep the distance from those two traces of light. Who? Who? The two great forces made a sharp turn and got closer to him. No. They are after me. As soon as Lo Feng realized they were coming after him, he recognized them. The one with three horns. It's Key Blood Palace leader from the Northern Territory Alliance. And it's Bei Feng Knight beside him. Lo Feng immediately put his remote ocean body back into his world ring. Both Key Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight were universe overlords. And they were far from ordinary universe overlords. Generally, universe knights who reached the pinnacle level in law comprehension and technique creation and could rival most mediocre universe masters were considered universe overlords. However, universe overlords who had ordinary true treasures and those who had the senior treasures were at very different levels. Additionally, a human universe overlord was different from a universe overlord that was a special life form with a life gene level of 8,000 times. As for Key Blood Palace Leader, he had a senior true treasure. And Bei Feng Knight was a universe overlord proficient in soul attack. Space beasts, said a mild voice, there's no way you can run away. A deep voice immediately added, give us the blade. Chapter 1042. Key Blood Spear. Key Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight were known not to be trifled with. Who? Lo Feng quickly waved his golden wings and flew off in another direction. I didn't expect to be discovered so soon. He muttered. The whirlpool portal to the outside is likely to have been discovered already. If I go there, I'll be walking into a trap. Hmm. Well, I'll just go to another original star through another whirlpool portal. Key Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight looked at him indifferently. Apparently, everything was under their control. It's your turn, Key Blood Palace leader said. Bei Feng looked at Lo Feng in the distance. His eyes glinted. Suddenly, the flow of time surrounding him twisted. An invisible soul attack immediately caught Golden Horned Beast and penetrated his body. It quickly started to consume his godly power. Each part of his godly power contained a soul imprint, meaning Lo Feng would be doomed if he was eroded. Seal. Power Pearl let out countless threads and connected the entire godly body instantly. Hong. 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 The soul erosion assaulted his soul. However, Lo Feng had a mighty willpower in addition to a Tower Pearl to guard it. Soul erosion couldn't affect Lo Feng at all. Bei Feng Knight looked contentedly at Golden Horned Beast, flying in one direction and slowing down because of the resistance. He transmitted his voice to Key Blood Palace Leader. I don't think I successfully eroded his soul, he said, but he must have been affected when he tried to defend himself from my soul attack. Now, it's your turn. Ha ha. Just wait and see, Key Blood Palace Leader said. He charged at Golden Horned Beast like a flash of light. Bei Feng Knight was following him. Golden Horned Beast. Key Blood Palace Leader called out as he raised the ancient spear in his hand. The three blood stains on the tip glowed with countless bloody law engravings. Key Blood Palace Leader emanated bloody energy. His eyes turned red, and he quickly pressed on toward Golden Horned Beast. Break. Key Blood Palace Leader growled and burned his godly power. At the same time, a huge amount of godly power was infused into his spear. He waved his spear fiercely. Poo. The spear pierced toward Golden Horned Beast, who just noticed it and tried to close his wings to protect himself. Jiang. The spear was so forceful that the space it passed through was twisted wickedly, forming visible space ripples. It punctured the wing of Golden Horned Beast. Peng. This weapon was mighty. Golden Horned Beast bounced away under the force of the shock wave. It was like he'd been hit by a planet. Go. Don't let him escape. Key Blood Palace leader said. Su. Su. Bei Feng Knight and Key Blood Knight chased after Golden Horned Beast. So powerful. Golden Horned Beast thought after the blast. He could feel the extent of his injury. I pretended to be affected because I wanted to test the power of the terrific spear. No wonder it's so famous. Even my Shai Wu Wing didn't help to resist it. Lo Feng already knew that the more powerful an attack was, the less useful an ordinary true treasure armor would be against it. Shai Wu Wing was a flying true treasure. Although the wing could be utilized as a shield, it was, after all, inferior to real armor-type true treasures. Lo Feng speculated that Shai Wu Wing only weakened the attack by half, while Force Armor weakened it by 99.99%.
Together, Golden Horned Beast bore one twenty thousandth of the power of the Key Blood Spear. That was like a drill, said Lo Feng. The power still entered my godly body after piercing through Shai Wu Wing and Force Armor until it was annihilated by my godly body completely. Lo Feng was startled. Regardless, I was still injured. Although the injury was nothing given the enormous godly body, the golden horned beast had been injured. Lo Feng was still in shock. If it hadn't been for the force armor. If he had only been wearing an ordinary true treasure armor. He could only drive the second form. If that had been the case, it would have been lucky if that armor could weaken the attack to one-tenth its original strength. One twenty-thousandth compared to one-tenth, a difference of two thousand times. That meant that if someone was over 1,000 times stronger than the other, he could annihilate his enemy with one move without consuming any energy. For instance, when a pinnacle emperor wanted to kill an undying fighter, he could easily do so without consuming any of his godly power. What? Why is his still so powerful? Key Blood Palace leader said. He was shocked. Even if he wielded the third form of an ordinary true treasure armor, he could, at most, only weaken the power by 99%. I performed my ultimate technique by consuming almost one one-thousandth of my godly body and using key blood spear. He should have been severely injured. Chu, Golden Horned Beast waved his wing and sped up. Too fast. Key Blood Palace leader said. Bei Feng Knight, hurry. Stop him. Leave it to me. Bei Feng Knight said as he looked up at Golden Horned Beast. He performed his soul attack again, attempting to affect Golden Horned Beast. However, instead of slowing down, Golden Horned Beast kept speeding up, nearly hitting light speed. He's not affected? Bei Feng Knight was amazed. We've been tricked. Key Blood Palace leader said, transmitting his voice. He wasn't affected at all. He deliberately withstood my attack to demonstrate his enormous defending power. Rat bastard. He was insulting me. Insulting me. Stop him, Bei Feng Knight. I'll teach him the consequences for insulting me. Key Blood Palace leader roared hoarsely. His eyes glinted with bloodthirstiness. Ever since obtaining his key blood spear, he had become more and more ferocious. He was usually able to control it, but when he was triggered, he would occasionally go mad. And he was the most terrifying when he went mad. Bei Feng Knight looked at Golden Horned Beast from afar and waved his hands. Su. 30,000 blade daggers showed up and flew toward the Golden Horned Beast. It was a spiritual force true treasure Bei Feng Knight owned, and as a great being proficient in soul attack, he was also good at using spiritual weapons. Even the speed of a great being couldn't compare with that of a spiritual force weapon. The spiritual weapons kept drawing near. After a short while, they surrounded Lo Feng. No. The Golden Horned Beast said. He knew he was in trouble when he saw tens of thousands of shadows flying toward him. Wing cap. Golden Horned Beast opened his golden wing. It immediately grew larger and blocked most of the black daggers. Some of them pierced through the belly of the Golden Horned Beast and kept hitting his body. Golden Horned Beast body slowed down sharply as Bei Feng Knight and Key Blood Palace leader approached. Damn you too. Still chasing. He said. I have force armor to protect me. They really think they can hurt me? I pretended to be affected by the soul attack because I wanted to feel the power of the legendary Key Blood Spear. Otherwise, they wouldn't have even had a chance to injure me. You want to stop me by using a spiritual force weapon? He said. If I use Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, it'll have a much stronger resistance power than your spiritual force weapon. Golden Horned Beast Body looked back coldly. He didn't even consider Key Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight to be a threat. Though he was far inferior when it came to attacking power, his force armor and the enormous godly could make Bei Feng Knight and Key Blood Palace Leader despair. He only wanted to test the power of Key Blood Spear, and now he was leaving. Regardless, I need to get rid of those two, he thought. Otherwise, my plan will be seen through. I'll teach them a lesson first. Who? Golden Horned Beast Body growled and waved his wing. Hua. He turned back and dashed at Bei Feng Knight and Key Blood Palace Leader. Key Blood Palace Leader was exhilarated seeing this, and he shouted, That stupid Golden Horned Beast wanted to die. I'll happily satisfy his wish. Hung. Key Blood Palace Leader burned his godly body and raced toward Golden Horned Beast body. Who? Golden Horned Beast's wings struck out like blades. Ha ha ha. Bloody light flashed across the eyes of Key Blood Palace Leader, and his Key Blood Spear was covered with bloody light as well. He had gone completely insane. It was like two stars hitting each other. Hung. The space trembled. 
Golden Horned Beast body clashed against Key Blood Palace leader with his sharp wing again and again, while Key Blood Palace leader kept dodging it. At the same time, he wielded his spear unrelentingly. The way he wielded his spear was strange. It went faster and faster, and his godly body became more and more forceful. Poo. 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 They fought each other fiercely for several seconds. Key Blood Palace leader backed down first. The bloody light in his eyes had already dissipated, and he was not nearly as predatory as before. What happened, Key Blood? Bei Feng Knight asked as he flew toward him. Even your ultimate technique is not working? Your 13th spear uses the special techniques contained in Key Blood Spear and the Burning Godly Body. You said before that you need to burn more and more of your godly body, and few universe overlords can withstand the 13th spear. 13th spear. When the spear attacked the first time, it only consumed one one thousandth of the godly body, but the more it attacked, the more energy it consumed. And after the spear attacked 13 times, it consumed 9% of his godly body. What? What? Key Blood Palace leader's eyes flared with shock and anger. Impossible. Impossible. I lost 9% of my godly body, but still couldn't weaken his force? Bei Feng Knight and Key Blood Palace leader glared at Golden Horned Beast. Golden Horned Beast looked back at them and rowled. At the same time, the vigorous Golden Thread Aurora Domain enveloped the hundreds of millions of square miles around them. Bei Feng Knight and Key Blood Palace leader were completely trapped. It's a domain type valuable. Sue. Golden Horned Beast Body waved his wing and flew away from the endless Golden Thread Auroras and muttered, lesson taught. Got to go now. For what it's worth, this Key Blood Palace leader is impressive. He was able to consume one ten thousandth of my godly body, even with my force armor protecting me. If I were a smaller sized universe overlord, I might have been annihilated. Chapter 1043? Superpowers that should not be underestimated. In the sky above the plain, Key Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight gazed at each other with fright and solemnness. Impressive. Bei Feng Knight said with his mild voice. That great being from Space Beast Alliance must have a domain-type treasure and a flying-type true treasure. As for the armor he uses, it must be a senior true treasure. Yes. It's got to be a senior true treasure, and the third form has been triggered, Key Blood Palace leader said in a deep voice. If it were only an ordinary true treasure, he wouldn't have defended against my Key Blood Spear so easily. They exchanged eye contact. They were in trouble. A senior true treasure in its third form, together with that enormous godly body. This was a combination that could make universe overlords tremble. The more powerful a great being was, the more demeaning it was to fall. It was difficult for universe overlords to die, as even if they couldn't fight against their enemies, they could still escape. And as for those with senior true treasure armor that was able to weaken the power of an attack by 99.99%, it was almost impossible to kill them, especially if they also had enormous godly bodies. Unless, of course, the power gap was significant, or they were attacked by universe masters or universe overlords who were special life forms. We can't do anything about it, Bei Feng Knight continued in his mild voice. Besides, he was alerted to what just happened. Our arrangement might not work anymore. What should we do, then? Key Blood Palace leader asked. First of all, we can't admit that we fought that golden horned beast, Bei Feng Knight said. No great beings saw us, and nobody will know if we don't tell anyone. Secondly, we'll follow the order from our alliance. A universe master is making arrangements, and there are members of our alliance sent to the whirlpool portals close to the birthplace of that godly blade. Fumo master will come here himself later, and that golden horned beast won't be able to run away. Key Blood Palace leader nodded. The Northern Territory Alliance was one of the strongest powers in the universe, and few could get away from the blockade. Inside an ancient forest on the original star, Golden Horned Beast hid. His eyes gleamed anxiously. What should we do? The original plan won't work now. Lo Feng had known about the godly blade of Blade River Lo in the virtual universe previously. He decided to run right after that, and he chose to run to the Whirlpool portal. Based on Lo Feng's original plan, he would fly to the Whirlpool portal first, and when he almost arrived, he would temporarily separate the Golden Horned Beast body, Masha body, and Remote Ocean body. The Golden Horned Beast would transfer all the valuables to Masha body, who would carry Remote Ocean body and hide by camouflaging himself as mud. Then the Golden Horned Beast would try to pass the Whirlpool portal. If he succeeded, Masha body would follow. If he failed, he would self-destruct. At the same time, the original Earthling body of Lo Feng, 
would seek help from Primal Chaos City leader through the virtual universe. The Whirlpool portal was the closest to human territory. After Primal Chaos City leader arrived, he could take Lo Feng away with his power. The plan may have been simple, but it was also direct and efficient. However, the fight between Qi Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight had made Lo Feng change his mind. They both flew here to look for me, thought Lo Feng, which means the Northern Territory Alliance is fast. Perhaps the Universe Knights from the Northern Territory Alliance recognized the blade when it unveiled itself. He could speculate from his combat with Qi Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight that the Northern Territory Alliance had made arrangements for this a long time ago. The Universe Master from the Northern Territory Alliance was now on his way, and he might arrive sooner than Primal Chaos City Leader. It'll be a slaughter if I try to run to the Whirlpool portal now, said Lo Feng. I'm not comfortable with this plan. But what should I do, then? Should I go to other Whirlpool portals? There are 10,081 Whirlpool portals on one original star, and each of them is hundreds of millions of miles away from each other. It would normally take more than half an hour to fly from one portal to another. It would take him around 15 minutes to fly from the Whirlpool portal closest to him. If the arrangements made by the Northern Territory Alliance were as meticulous as I suspect, there will probably be guards at the Whirlpool portals closest to the birthplace of the godly blade. Lo Feng shook his head. If I go there, it'll be running into a trap. It was dangerous for him to go to any of the Whirlpool portals connecting the outside world, regardless of the distance. Flying to the Whirlpool portals in the distance was out of the question. The Universe Master would have arrived by the time he made it there. The Universe Master could control space and time, and he could suppress his enemies even if the enemies were far from them. How about Masha Body's inherited technique, replication? But Lo Feng shook his head again. Masha Body was from one of the ordinary races, and the inherited technique was just a lower tier technique. Although it was strange and unique, it could be defeated. The Northern Territory Alliance was one of the top nine powers in the universe, and once it had finished its arrangements, it would be almost impossible for Lo Feng to get away. I have to turn to my teacher now, Lo Feng concluded. At the apex of Thunder Island in the virtual universe, Primal Chaos City Leader's palace was enveloped by mist. Lo Feng stepped into the palace and shouted respectfully, Teacher. A figure in a golden cape walked out. Lo Feng, said Primal Chaos City Leader, smiling at Lo Feng. You should be on the original star now. What are you here for? I have an emergency, Lo Feng said. He hesitated. I sent my golden horned beast body and my Masha body to the original star. Primal Chaos City leader nodded and listened. He surely already knew this, as the original earthling body was in Thousand Treasures River. I happened to get a component of Blade River Lo, Lo Feng said. Oh. That was you? Primal Chaos City leader was thrilled and laughed. I just got the news that two space beasts from the Space Beast Alliance got the component. I was thinking that if that component could fall into the hands of us humans, it would be important leverage against the Thorn Ring Alliance. Yes, but I'm in big trouble now. The Northern Territory Alliance also knows about it, and it started to prepare to attack me. Primal Chaos City Leader frowned. Tell me more. Yes, teacher. Lo Feng started to elaborate. He mentioned Qi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight by name. You weren't hurt by them? Primal Chaos City Leader said, looking at Lo Feng in shock. Qi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight were renowned universe overlords who represented the power of ordinary universe overlords. Primal Chaos City Leader was thrilled that Lo Feng had been able to defend against him. Instantly, he speculated that his disciple Lo Feng must have a defending true treasure and that it might be a senior true treasure, like a senior true treasure armor. However, he didn't ask Lo Feng directly. He had known for a long time that Lo Feng kept many secrets, like the exceptional power of his undying godly body, which was better than those of many universe knights. Primal Chaos City leader had seen Lo Feng become undying, as well as the scene he had caused when the origin law arrived. Besides, Lo Feng had become undying within Thousand Treasures River, and his control on space and time told Primal Chaos City leader that Lo Feng's godly body was stronger than that of some universe knights. Primal Chaos City leader didn't ask any further questions. Perhaps my disciple got lucky, he thought. Perhaps he met an omnipotent being. Perhaps it's before the Grand Nirvana period. Whatever the reason, Primal Chaos City leader was happy to see it. He didn't care what happened to his disciple, as long as he could get stronger. The more powerful Lo Feng became, the more likely that a new pillar for humans would be born. 
I'm still not as good as Key Blood Palace leader when it comes to combat, said Lo Feng. I survived because of my godly body. Godly bodies are also part of your strength, Primal Chaos City leader said. Lo Feng quickly replied, teacher, you must understand by now. Those great beings from the Northern Territory Alliance are coming after me. What should I do? I'll be in danger no matter which portal I go to. Please, teacher, would you help me out? You're smart enough not to make such a decision by yourself. Primal Chaos City leader smiled. You would be caught and killed without help, now. The Northern Territory Alliance is a rival of our alliance. And they have more great beings and races. They have all sorts of special life forms and races who have inherited techniques. You won't be able to defend yourself against them. Your inherited technique replication is an impressive hiding skill. Only universe masters controlling space and time can see through your disguising. Lo Feng nodded. Control over space and time was indeed impressive, and domain and replication would both be rendered useless. As for his inherited technique strengthen, his godly body amplification could hit 100 times at most, and it would not be helpful. Inherited techniques were effective only when one's power was weak. When one became a universe master, only a few inherited techniques were still useful. However, Lo Feng had achieved a perfect life gene level, and the universe had bestowed him with one of the top-tier inherited techniques, I am the universe. Inherited techniques can be cracked by other inherited techniques, Primal Chaos City Leader continued. There are all sorts of inherited techniques in the universe, and some might even be inherited techniques bestowed by the universe. There are different levels of inherited techniques, and naturally, they have different levels of power and usage. Some of them counteract each other. Some of them are similar to each other. However, the more powerful you become, the less useful those inherited techniques will be. Primal Chaos City leader smiled and added, for instance, the soul attack Bark Mirror Emperor has was an inherited technique, but any sort of soul attacks from universe masters are much weaker than that. Lo Feng nodded. The Northern Territory has set you up, and there's no way that you can use your techniques to break out. Primal Chaos City leader shook his head. You've underestimated its power. Then what should I do? Lo Feng said. Primal Chaos City leader smiled. I have my ways. Chapter 1044. A meeting on the original stars. Teacher, would you like to give me some advice? Lo Feng asked. He listened carefully. Primal Chaos City leader smiled. The Northern Territory Alliance might have guards in front of every Whirlpool portal, which means what you need to do is not get close to any Whirlpool portal. Lo Feng was dazed, but he understood what his teacher was implying. Teacher, do you mean that I should just wander across original stars and stay away from any Whirlpool portal? Yes. Primal Chaos City leader nodded. Stay away from any Whirlpool portal and the place where the godly blade unveiled itself. Then those universe overlords will find it difficult to meet you. The only way to catch you is to wait for the arrival of a universe master of the Northern Territory Alliance. Lo Feng nodded. It would be safe for him not to go to the Whirlpool portal. However, a universe master of the opposition alliance would arrive, after which he could only wait to be captured. Your disguise is useless in front of a universe master, Primal Chaos City Leader added. You don't need a disguise. All you need to do is separate your golden horned beast body and your remote ocean body. Leave all your valuables with remote ocean body. As for universe masters of the Northern Territory Alliance, they'll only search for those two space beasts, and they won't be able to recognize your remote ocean body, even if they see it. There are universe knights of all races on the original stars. You'll be identified in you camouflage, but your remote ocean body doesn't need it. Lo Feng smiled. Even if he kills golden horned beast body, he won't be able to find any valuables, Primal Chaos City Leader went on. He'll then start to inspect all the great beings on the original stars but he won't dare to be reckless. As long as you separate your bodies, you can earn yourself enough time. I'll arrive by then. All you need to do is to survive until I arrive at the original stars. Lo Feng nodded. I understand, teacher. It was plain and simple. All Lo Feng had to do was stall his enemies and not go near the whirlpool portals. He would be safe when Primal Chaos City leader arrived. It was a simple plan, so simple that there were few flaws. Go, Primal Chaos City leader said. Remember what I said. Besides, the Universe Master of the Northern Territory Alliance might get there before I do. Don't give the plan away after he arrives. I understand, Lo Feng said, nodding. Within the Thousand Treasures River of the Primal Region, Human Territory. Hong. Long. Long. 
Thousand Treasures River vanished and transformed into a shirt, covering the towering primal chaos city leader who now stood over 6,000 miles tall. He carried a rugged stone staff and stood in the sky barefoot, gazing out into the distance. I'll go to the original stars first, he said, but I'll be back soon. Stop studying your techniques and help me guard the primal region. Yes, brother. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. He took a step into space and disappeared. Several Universe Knights and servants in the palaces within the Thousand Treasures River noticed that Thousand Treasures River had suddenly disappeared. Where is the Thousand Treasures River? Thousand Treasures River disappeared. Our teacher might have gone out. Lo Feng's Earthling original body also stood outside the palace and looked into the distance. I hope everything goes well. He whispered. At the end of the whirlpool portal closest to the place where the godly blade of Blade River Lo had appeared, a flash of light was approaching. Mankey Knight is coming. Someone cried. He has a domain type true treasure, and we have our third level arrangement. We're more likely to succeed now. No matter how powerful that space beast is, and even if he's a special life form, he won't be able to get away. The latest news is that some great beings of Hong Alliance are also trying to kill those space beasts. No. What should we do? Should we just wait here? Relax. The original stars are enormous, and nobody can teleport or initiate God Country transportation here. Do you really think it's that easy to hunt someone down? Let's just wait here and guard this place. In the forest under the whirlpool portal to the outside. There were seven beings in the forest where Bei Li Knight and Key Blood Palace Leader landed. Key Blood Palace Leader, Bei Feng Knight. You two finally arrived. You were supposed to arrive earliest. Wang Jia Knight said that you two were surveying the surroundings. Key Blood Palace Leader snorted. Of course we were surveying the place. Do you really think we'll go fight those space beasts? Nothing's certain. Hang. Key Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight both snorted. Do you think I would be back this soon if I was fighting the space beasts? It would take a long time to travel from the birthplace of the godly blade back here. Key Blood Palace Leader gazed apathetically at the being with almost 1,000 hooves. Don't speculate without any evidence. Key Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight glanced at Wang Jia Knight, who immediately realized that they'd failed. Fortunately, I used quite a few resources and valuables to recover my godly body, Key Blood Palace Leader said as he glanced around and sat down with his legs crossed. He thought, if they notice that my godly body is injured, there will be trouble. Meanwhile. Hong. Hong. Two beings showed up at the whirlpool portal. Look. Something's happening. All the nine supreme beings looked up into the sky. No need to hurry. They're universe knights who entered the original stars from the outside. They belong to the Hong Alliance. Two universe knights of the Hong Alliance again? Why do great beings of Hong Alliance keep coming here? This worried the great beings of the Northern Territory Alliance who were hiding here. Bei Feng Knight transmitted his mild voice, saying, perhaps the Hong Alliance also found out about the component of Blade River Lo. Wang Jia Knight, report this to our alliance. We'll be in trouble if the Hong Alliance meddles. Okay. After the news about Blade River Lo spread through the virtual universe, quite a few universe knights raced toward there, and some of them only went there because they wanted to enjoy the fights. They all knew that a component of Blade River Low would produce a furious upheaval, and there was no way they would miss it. Some of the universe knights closest to the birthplace had arrived, followed by many others. On the original star where Lo Feng resided, many great beings of the Hong Alliance were flying towards the birthplace of Blade River Low. Meanwhile, the Northern Territory Alliance was constructing a delicate arrangement. After Lo Feng's chat with Primal Chaos City Leader, Su, a flash of light flew by in the distance. There's another forest, Golden Horned Beast said, looking afar and diving down at sub light speed. I'll fly into the forest and separate my remote ocean body and my Golden Horned Beast body. Golden Horned Beast body was fast, he quickly arrived above the forest and dove down. Hua! Golden Horned Beast body stopped after arriving at the forest. He stepped on a thick trunk and looked at his wing. The golden wing was trembling. What's happening? Lo Feng was astounded. Shai Wu Wing, which had merged with the scaled wing, was trembling unrelentingly. Ang. 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 It was shivering out of Lo Feng's control, as if some singular point of origin afar was attracting it like a magnet. Shai Wu Wing has already recognized me as its master, Lo Feng said, shocked to his very core by what he was seeing. A true treasure that has recognized me as its master should completely follow my orders. Shouldn't it? Why is it out of control now? 
What's happening in that direction? Golden horned beast looked into the sky in the distance. He felt that if he didn't suppress it, Shai Wu Wing would lead him in that direction. What? What's happening? In that direction, a being stood in the sky. He was around 25 feet tall with thick legs and eight arms. By all appearances, he looked as if he were made entirely of metal. He didn't have any hair on his body but was completely bald. He was in the shape of a being of automaton race. He wore black armor, and there was a black set of wings on his back. Ang. 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 The wing quivered crazily. Huh. The bald eight-armed knight turned around and looked at his wing. He gazed into the distance. What's the meaning of this? My wing is a true treasure, and I've been utilizing it for hundreds of thousands of years. This has never happened. He was powerful and venerated. He had come to original stars eight times before, and he'd been through far deadlier situations. However, this was the first time his true treasure wing had behaved outside of his control. What's going on? He said, his eyes gleaming coldly. Sue. He shook his wing and flew in the direction of the strange sensation like a flash of black light. Golden horned beast body stood on the trunk with his wing open. He looked up at the sky and could distinctively feel that the attraction was growing stronger by the second. It was as if the point of origin were approaching him. In that direction. There's a black spot. Golden horned beast body saw a beam of black light. There was a black point far in the distance racing toward him. It appeared to be a supreme being. It's him, said golden horned beast body, gazing at the figure. The source of the disruption. The black light continued pressing on toward him. The being of automaton race also looked in golden horned beast's direction and saw the golden winged body of the golden horned beast. They now both saw each other. Wait. The wing on his back said Golden Horned Beast, immediately noticing the black wing on the great being's back. The bald, eight-armed being looked down and saw the golden wing on Golden Horned Beast's body. They sensed each other at the same time. Could it be that my wing is only a portion of a true treasure? Lo Feng murmured to himself. Lo Feng was firstly startled, then exhilarated. The eight-armed, bald knight was also overjoyed, having arrived at the same conclusion. My wing is only a component? He said, grinning. They gazed upon one another from a distance. An aura of hostility sizzled between them. Chapter 1045? Tianyang Knight. No wonder Shai Wu Wing didn't send me any detailed information when it recognized me as its master when I obtained it, said Lo Feng. I thought it was because the great being who created Shai Wu Wing didn't leave any information. But the real reason is that Shai Wu Wing is a broken true treasure. Besides, Primal Chaos City leader told me when he gave it to me that no other lives in the universe knew about the existence of Shai Wu Wing, and he also said that it was not created by him. Apparently, Shai Wu Wing is more mysterious than I realized. The information on Shai Wu Wing was recorded in a book my teacher Primal Chaos City leader gave to me. Lo Feng could still remember the book. It detailed the three different forms of Shai Wu Wing and had been discovered by Primal Chaos City leader during his research. According to the information, Shai Wu Wing appeared virtually of nowhere, Lo Feng recalled. It was exceptionally tough and tensile, and even beings as strong as universe masters aren't able to destroy it. Lo Feng got more excited. I'm particularly curious about this part. Powerful universe masters should be able to damage an ordinary true treasure. However, based on the information given by Primal Chaos City leader, Shai Wu Wing is indestructible. I've always thought it was because the material of Shai Wu Wing was special. Until now. It seems that my Shai Wu Wing is a component of an incredible true treasure, which is why the material is also extraordinary. Just like that, Lo Feng's questions had been completely solved. True treasures that had recognized someone as their owners could attract each other. The only reason this had happened was because they had originally been one. Golden Horned Beast body looked up at the sky, and the eight-armed, bald knight looked down at Golden Horned Beast. Thoughts flooded both of their minds. Actually, in the long period of time they had spent using the true treasure wing, they both felt that their wings were different from other ordinary true treasures. However, nobody could say for sure that they were broken true treasure. After all, such a notion was inconceivable. Like Thousand Treasures River, which was made up of over 1,000 true treasures, true treasures strengthened each other, resulting in boundless power. However, every true treasure had hidden flaws. Many fighters might only be able to wield the power of top-tier treasures. Lo Feng's Shai Wu Wing, after all, always worked as a fine ordinary true treasure. Even a mere component of a true treasure works so greatly. Lo Feng thought. What if they're combined? 
The eight-armed, bald knight looked down at Lo Feng. Lightwing saved me several times, and even now that I'm a universe overlord, it is an ordinary true treasure that has never disappointed me. The light wing is actually a component of a powerful true treasure. I need to get the other part no matter what. If they're combined, they must lead to material change, and the power will be significantly improved. Golden Horned Beast Body looked up at the being in the sky. The most prominent universe overlords had records within the human race, and Lo Feng remembered all of them. He was able to recognize most of them, except few supreme beings who kept themselves hidden. Tianyang Knight, thought Lo Feng. A universe overlord of the automaton race. Based on the available record, he has three true treasures. One of them is an ordinary true treasure armor, one is an ordinary true treasure wing, and one is a senior true treasure, eight light shuttle. He's the candidate deified general for Xin Guang general, and he created the ultimate technique eight shuttle. Lo Feng realized that he was in trouble after recalling his information. Tianyang Knight was a handful. He was powerful and proficient in escape techniques. Lo Feng could sense that this enemy was not to be trifled with. Though I don't need to worry about universe overlords because of my force armor, they have much stronger attacking skills. It's difficult for me to kill senior universe knights. As for this Tianyang Knight, it would be almost impossible for me to kill him. Tianyang Knight looked down at Golden Horned Beast and was a bit hesitant. Who is he? He wondered. It's a Golden Horned Beast in golden armor and a golden wing. I don't recall a great being like that in Space Beast Alliance. The Space Beast Alliance was always mysterious, and the great beings who showed up were known for their giant bodies. To kill a Golden Horned Beast Universe Knight? Such a feat was nearly impossible. Golden Horned Beast and Yan Yang Knight stared at each other. Each wanted the true treasure wing possessed by the other. However, they both felt that the enemy standing before them should not be underestimated, Lo Feng was not confident because he was too weak to injure his enemy. While Yan Yang Knight was not confident that he could kill a golden horned beast that was over 600 miles long. I am Tian Yang Knight, Tian Yang Knight said, slowly coming to a landing. He landed on a branch and transmitted his voice. Golden horned beast transmitted his hoarse voice in reply. I am Golden Wing Knight. Tian Yang Knight raised his head and looked at Golden Horned Beast. He smiled. Golden Wing Knight of the Space Beast Alliance, my true treasure wing and your wing seem to have some sort of special connection. I want your true treasure wing. Name your price. One top tier true treasure, Golden Horned Beast said. Heng. Tian Yang Knight frowned. A top tier true treasure. Even some universe masters didn't have top-tier true treasures, and even if the wings were combined, they wouldn't necessarily become a top-tier true treasure. So, you don't want to exchange? Tianyan Knight said, transmitting his voice. So, do you? Asked Golden Horned Beast. They knew each other's decision the second they transmitted their voices. Apparently, they both valued their true treasure wings. They needed extremely precious true treasures. However, they wouldn't be able to afford such a trade. Hong. Hong. They both moved. Then die. The eyes of Tianyang Knight glinted with hostility. This godly power started to be burned. Eight twenty-foot-long projectiles emanating black light showed up on his arms. These shuttles shot at Lo Feng. You? Golden Horned Beast burned his godly body, growled, and charged at Tianyang Knight. Hong. Long. Long. Trees started to fall, and they began to fight each other in close proximity. They attacked over 100 times in a single second. To be exact, it was Tianyang Knight who attacked Golden Horned Beast. Golden Horned Beast quickly became half a mile long and defended himself, using his wing to counter strike occasionally. 8. Tianyang Knight said, and the power of 8 shuttles surged. 8. Tianyang Knight screamed again. 8. He screamed three times, and his voice resounded and shook the soul. Tianyang Knight's face looked holy but there was a black light radiating from his eyes. The ultimate technique eight shuttles was a magnificent move. Golden Horned Beast was not able to fight back. He could only bear the attacks again and again. Tianyang Knight grabbed the eight formidable looking shuttles. They were a breathtaking sight. The wing on Tianyang Knight shook continuously, and the change in the flow of time around him made his shuttles even more splendid. It was a glorious ultimate technique. And it was terrifically powerful. Hua. Golden Horned Beast rolled like a mountain and ran over the trees. He stood up instantly. Tianyang Knight floated in the sky and gazed down at Golden Horned Beast. Your. Tour godly body is not even injured? He said. 
he had already performed his ultimate technique and had consumed 3% of his godly body. Meanwhile, to his surprise, his enemy's godly body was not hurt at all. Unfortunately, your godly body is, golden horned beast replied in a deep voice. A large godly body and powerful armor, said Jian Yang Knight. Humph. Your true treasure wing will belong to me someday in the future. Jian Yang Knight's eyes glinted with bitterness. He shook his black wing and flew away. How could he continue? A giant godly body with powerful armor made him despair. Su. Golden horned beast flew away. After a short while, the forest recovered as if there hadn't been a fight at all. After golden horned beast left the forest, remote ocean body left as well. Golden Horned Beast Body Store Shai Wu Wing, Claw Set Treasure, Tower Pearl, Golden Threat Aurora Mirror, Force Armor, and the Component of Blade River Low. Then Remote Ocean Body shrunk to around 30 feet tall and sat down in the grass on a hill. Golden Horned Beast Body flew away without even one valuable. He flew across the plain and flew into a vast forest. Another true treasure wing. Remote Ocean Body said as he lay on the grass with his eyes half closed. I have a strong defense and a strong godly body, just like nine remoteness master facing a universe supreme master, Lo Feng said. Universe supreme masters are much stronger than nine remoteness master, but they couldn't do anything to him in nine remoteness ocean, with a diameter of over 10 light years. However, it's impossible for nine remoteness master to kill a universe supreme master. This worked to his disadvantage. He was after all an undying fighter. Even his godly body could rival that of a universe knight, with the help of the nine-volume manual, and he had the superior true treasure force armor and an enormous godly body to protect him. Even among universe overlords, there were few who had such strong defending power. However, he was still weak when it came to attacks. First of all, he had low law comprehension. He did have true treasures for attacking and strong willpower and mind to fight against senior universe knights, but universe overlords who had true treasures and higher law comprehension could still crush him when it came to attacking skills. Although they could crush Lo Feng, Key Blood Palace leader had consumed 9% of his godly power, yet it only damaged one ten thousandth of Golden Horned Beast's godly boy. Tian Yang Knight, similarly, had consumed 3% of his godly body, but he couldn't even damage one ten thousandth of Golden Horned Beast's godly body. How can I get that through treasure wing? Golden Horned Beast wondered, snarling with bitterness. Hong. All of a sudden, an incredible force hit the original star and permeated outward. Golden Horned Beast was entangled by the invisible force. It was complete control over the space and time. Control on the space and time? Golden Horned Beast's eyes glinted with fright. He knew. A universe master had arrived. Chapter 1046. Fumo Master. A towering being landed slowly on the ground beside the space whirlpool. He was more than 1,000 miles tall, and he was covered with black and red scaled armor. He had a green face, green eyebrows, and two cardinal horns. He had only one eye, but that eye could see through everything on the original star, which trembled the space around him. Hung. Every spot on the original star, plains, forests, deserts, mountains, swamps, and oceans, was bound by the power. All the great beings on the original star were shocked to their very core. A universe master has arrived. It's a universe master. Universe masters have come to this original star. Most of the universe knights didn't know why a universe master had arrived, but none of them dared to resist. Although control over space and time couldn't kill a universe master, it could still make it hard for universe overlords to walk, not to mention fly. Universe masters, on the other hand, could fly all the way to their targets and kill them. Although universe overlords could rival the most ordinary universe masters when they let out their full strength, they could only rival universe masters when they didn't use any true treasure. Unfortunately, it was impossible for universe masters not to have any true treasures. That was why there were only a few universe overlords who dared to fight universe masters, and at least there were no universe overlords who were able to do that on this original star. This was why, when they felt the powerful binding essence, they all knew it came from a universe master, and none of them dared to revolt. No. It's not likely to be Primal Chaos City Leader. Golden Horned Beast raised his head. He could feel the fetters of this powerful force everywhere. If it had been Primal Chaos City Leader, he would have transmitted his voice already. How powerful the universe master is! Lo Feng exclaimed. The fetter is so strong, and he might have not even let out all his strength. Once someone became a universe master, he was able to control space and time, he could even turn back time and see everything that happened. 
if they were powerful enough, they were even able to resurrect a fallen being. He was able to control an enormous area of space and time. The original star was completely under his control. The universe overlords heard a voice that made their heart miss a beat. Leave it to me, said the voice. You can all go now. They were universe overlords, and they knew most of the universe masters within the Northern Territory Alliance. They could tell from the voice immediately that it was Fumo Master. They stopped being so careful. Instead, they were overjoyed. Fumo Master stood on the plane and immediately had everything on the original star under his control. He saw through all the space, the mountains, and the mud of the ground, and easily located the golden horned beast lying in the forest afar. Space Beast Alliance. A chill flashed through Fumo Master's eyes. Hang. Hung. Inside the forest. The fetter in the space and time around the golden horned beast suddenly surged as if an intangible giant had grabbed him with crushing force. Ah. Golden horned beast felt the terrific pressure bearing down on him. He quickly started to burn his godly power to resist it. However, the power of the fetter kept increasing. Kai. 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 Golden Horned Beast's godly body kept being weakened, 1% was depleted immediately. The total quickly dropped from 99% to 98%, then 97%. His godly body just kept being weakened. If I have my force armor on me, thought Lo Feng, I can weaken the force by 99.99%. That way, I won't be so easily annihilated. Anyhow, Universe Masters are so mighty. I haven't even seen him yet, yet I'm already seriously injured. Golden Horned Beast tried to stand still and resist the pressure. Golden Horned Beast, a cold voice resounded. Where's your true treasure armor? You were attacked by eight senior universe knights, one of whom has a true treasure, yet you were not injured at all. Why is it you are hurt only by my manipulation of space and time? Where's your true treasure armor? Where's your wing? Just go on and kill me. Kill me. Golden Horned Beast growled. Ha ha ha. It seems that you've moved all your true treasures, said Fumo Master. Heng. Golden Horned Beast snorted. Fumo Master was omnipotent, and it was natural that he could speculate Lo Feng's actions. He just wanted to use space and time to suppress Golden Horned Beast. Then he was going to concentrate his godly power to attack him directly. However, before he could even concentrate his godly power, Golden Horned Beast's godly body was being consumed. This was entirely beyond Fumo Master's expectations. How could a golden horned beast, who had incredible defending power, and who was more difficult to deal with than universe overlords, be killed so easily? There was only one explanation. The golden horned beast had transferred all his true treasures elsewhere. Golden horned beast, I'm a universe master, he said in a cold voice. You're not even worth killing to me. I bet it took a long time for you to cultivate that godly body. Just give me the component. As long as you give me the component or tell me where you put it, I'll let you go. Universe Master, I might have been killed if I carried my true treasures, Golden Horned Beast said. Unfortunately, I don't have any valuables on me, so there's no point threatening me. Golden Horned Beasts have clone techniques, so even if this godly body falls, the others will remain intact. As for a soul attack? Though my mind and willpower are not your match, I can easily self-destruct before you erode me. All was silent. Fumo Master also stayed quiet for a while. Indeed, it was extremely difficult to control a Universe Overlord's mind. It was almost impossible, even for Universe Masters who specialized in soul-type attacks. Firstly, there wasn't a huge gap between the willpower and the mind of a Universe Overlord and a Universe Master, all Universe Overlords were extraordinary. Fumo Master didn't even specialize in soul-type attacks, yet it would be a walk in the park for him to control the mind of a Universe Overlord. As for soul erosion killing, universe overlords were perceptive and careful. Once they realized they couldn't resist it, they would destroy themselves. Golden horned beast, the voice said, growing even colder. Are you threatening me? Of course I'm not, golden horned beast replied. I just don't want to give you the component of Blade River Low. I attained this valuable through luck and power. Universe masters are superior and venerated. Why would you need to capture my valuable using such powerful methods? You can't possibly need that valuable that much. Heng. Fumo Master was becoming angry. You can only transfer your true treasure to other great beings, instead of getting it out of the original star, he said. After all, there were arrangements around the portal. Since the birth of Blade River Low, there have been 122 potential universe knights who were close enough for you to have transferred it to. 
Out of all 122 universe knights, 89 of them are from the Hong Alliance are of the prison race, and they wouldn't be willing to help you. That leaves 33 who may have helped you. Your true treasure must be hidden with one of the 33 universe knights. I'll give you two choices, Fumo Master continued. Option 1. Tell me where the true treasure is. All I need is the godly blade of Blade River Low. Option 2. I take the time and slaughter every one of those universe knights until I find it. Odds are I I'll have to kill at least 10 before I find it. After that, I'll take all your other true treasures, too. It's your choice. Option 1 or Option 2. Golden Horned Beast looked startled. You. You'd slaughter universe knights just to get it? Most of them will be willing to be interrogated by me under the threat of death, Fumo Master went on, so I may only need to kill some of them. In any case, those who dare to go against me deserve to die. You, you. For the first time, Golden Horned Beast appeared to become anxious. Lo Feng, however, was not anxious. In fact, everything was going according to his plan. Just as Primal Chaos City leader had told him, he could buy himself some time by separating the Golden Horned Beast body and Remote Ocean body. And, of course, the longer he kept Fumo Master talking, the more time he bought himself. If Primal Chaos City leader couldn't make it here on time, Fumo Master would find all the true treasures eventually. Perhaps Fumo Master wouldn't really kill universe knights of other races recklessly, just for a godly blade of Blade River Low, thought Lo Feng. For now, I'll just buy as much time as possible. Golden Horned Beast continued to act surprised. Fumo Master. He said, white-eyed. You're a universe master. How could you? Hung. Another terrific ripple arrived and surrounded the original star. The fetter binding the golden horned beast was immediately gone. Another universe master. Two universe masters. What's happening on this original star? The universe knights on the original star were all petrified. My teacher? Lo Feng thought. A giant beast engulfed in flames, standing over 6,000 miles tall, showed up in the sky. The figure exuded boundless power. Fumo master. Resounded the voice of the giant beast engulfed in flames. I heard that you're going to attack a great being of the Space Beast Alliance and capture his valuable. You. Are you provoking our Space Beast Alliance? Flame Star Master. Indignation flashed through Fumo Master's eyes. Flame Star Master was the most ancient and most powerful being of the Flame Star Beasts, one of the twelve pinnacle bloodlines of the Space Beast Alliance. Chapter 1047. Three Universe Masters meet each other. Flame Star Master growled in the endless flames. Hung. Long. Long. Each inch of the original star was trembling, and the space and time under Fumo Master's control were taken away. Apparently, Flame Star Master and Fumo Master were fighting for the control over the original star. Fumo Master. The giant beast in flames roared, and his voice pierced through layers of space and blasted beside Fumo Master's ears. That golden horned beast is a member of my Space Beast Alliance. Now that I'm here, don't even think about hurting him. Ha ha ha. You can't suppress him by controlling space and time, and you can only flight towards him. The great being of my Space Beast Alliance will have already left through the whirlpool long before you arrive. Ha ha ha. Fumo Master, who was standing on the plain like a mountain, replied with indignation, Flame Star Master, my Northern Territory Alliance has already arranged everything. Even if you can stop me, I can still stop you from controlling the space and time. The great beings of my Northern Territory Alliance will encircle that golden horned beast under my command. There's no way he can run away. First team, move to coordinate. Second team, move to coordinate. Fumo Master transmitted his voice to the great beings arranged by the Northern Territory Alliance, and he even gave the order to the six teams on the other side through his alliance. Although Fumo Master wasn't able to suppress Golden Horned Beast through his control over space and time, he was still able to know his every move. Yes. Hung. There were several universe overlords coming out of all six whirlpool portals. At that moment, dozens of universe overlords gathered on the original star and started to encircle the Golden Horned Beast. He's a member of my Space Beast Alliance. Flame Star Master said, infuriated. Although he also couldn't manipulate space and time while Fumo Master was disturbing him, he was still capable of knowing everything that was happening on the original star. Even Flame Star Master was amazed by the number of races and great beings of the Northern Territory Alliance. There was only one universe supreme master within the Northern Territory Alliance, but the number of universe masters and universe knights was much higher than in other alliances. 
That was why the Northern Territory Alliance was so reckless when it came to fighting for resources. Fumo Master, it was the great being of my Space Beast Alliance who acquired the valuable. How dare you? Flame Star Master was exasperated. He clenched his teeth as he growled, you have invoked my fury. Humph. Stop preaching to me. Fumo Master snorted. Power is the thing that matters most in the universe. Flame Star Master, I promise not to hurt the Golden Horned Beast, as long as he gives us the godly blade. It may have only been a component, but Blade River Low was a top-tier domain type true treasure. It had the attacking power of a pinnacle attack type true treasure. The blade was definitely more precious than a senior true treasure, and the Thorn Ring Alliance would be willing to risk everything to get it back. Ha ha ha. You're joking, right? Flame Star Master roared. The fire around him raged. You're not the only one who can summon great beings. I'll summon Golden Horn Master here. Let's see what you can do against the great beings of my Space Beast Alliance. Fumo Master sneered, unintimidated. Do you really think I'm afraid of him? Let him come. I bet it'll take him a long time to arrive here, anyway. I hold influence over space and time here, and even Universe Masters will have to fly slowly as a result. However, Fumo Master was a bit daunted inside. As Golden Horn Master was a terrific being among the Universe Masters of the Space Beast Alliance, and he had four godly bodies. Do you think the great beings of my Northern Territory Alliance are inferior to yours? Fumo Master demanded, refusing to back down. The great beings from the Northern Territory Alliance were notorious for their temperaments, the Alliance was made up of quite a few powerful races, but none of them were pinnacle races. They had needed to be humble before they were united. But after being united, with a Universe Supreme Master to guard them, everything changed. The Northern Territory Alliance group would have to admit defeat against a Universe Supreme Master. However, they would sooner die than surrender now. Once a valuable was born, the great beings of the Northern Territory Alliance would flood this place. After all, the Northern Territory Alliance was known for being reckless and for its high number of great beings. While Fumo Master and Flame Star Master confronted each other, standing tens of billions of miles apart, another omnipotent force flooded in through the Whirlpool portal. It was a towering figure standing 6,000 miles tall. He carried an ancient, rugged stone staff and walked barefoot. He wore a thousand treasure coat. Ha ha ha. I didn't expect to find two universe masters here, his voice resounded. Though the voice was not at high volume, it echoed in the hearts of all the great beings on the original star. Hung. Long. Long. Star Sky River enveloped the original star. Powerful objects floating on the blurry river. All the great beings, including the universe overlords ordered to action, froze. Fumo Master was startled. Primal Chaos City Leader. Primal Chaos City Leader. Flame Star Master was also shocked. Both Fumo Master and Flame Star Master were renowned universe masters, yet they couldn't compare with Primal Chaos City Leader. Primal Chaos City Leader had three bodies, and each of them was overwhelmingly more powerful than they were. The Thousand Treasures River was a top-tier domain-type true treasure, and the power of the true treasure could easily kill them. Of course, Primal Chaos City Leader wouldn't dare kill them recklessly, unless he had made up his mind to engage in all-out war with the Northern Territory Alliance. Universe Masters slaughtering the weak was a rare occurrence. Primal Chaos City Leader, Flame Star Master said, growing anxious. That's a great being of my Space Beast Alliance. You're a revered Universe Master, and it would be condescending of you to seize a valuable from a nobody. Power is all that matters. What can you do if Primal Chaos City Leader actually captures it? Please, Primal Chaos City Leader, for Space Beast Alliance's sake, Flame Star Master said. If Primal Chaos City Leader hadn't had the Thousand Treasures River, Primal Chaos City Leader couldn't intimidate Flame Star Master. However, Primal Chaos City Leader could instantly kill Golden Horned Beast with Thousand Treasures River. That was one of the advantages of a domain-type true treasure. It could sweep away the weak. Do you really think the Hong Alliance care about your Space Beast Alliance? Fumo Master said. Primal Chaos City Leader, I'll back off now because of you and your Thousand Treasures River. As for the component of Blade River Low, it belongs either to you or Flame Star Master. Though Fumo Master had stopped meddling, he still wanted to see what would happen next. The Hong Alliance was one of the greatest superpowers. The Space Beast Alliance was aloof and mysterious, but it had strong unity. It would be interesting to see the confrontation between those two. Flame Star Master opened his mouth. Primal Chaos City Leader. Flame Star Master, I don't think Primal Chaos City Leader would come here for nothing, 
Fumo Master said. Ha ha ha. Primal Chaos City leaders' laughter resounded, affecting Flame Star Master and Fumo Master. They were all amazed. It was clear why Primal Chaos City leader was considered one of the most powerful universe masters. Flame Star Master, said Primal Chaos City leader, since you asked, I'll stop meddling with it for your sake. Fumo Master was taken aback. Flame Star Master quickly responded, thank you Primal Chaos City leader. Humph. Fumo Master snorted and stepped into the Whirlpool portal. Retreat? Fumo Master gave the order to the Universe Overlords of the Northern Territory Alliance. He wouldn't interfere anymore, even though he was a bit irritated. After all, as a Universe Master, he needed to keep his promise. He, like all Universe Masters, valued his reputation. Go. Let's go. Although those Universe Overlords like Key Blood Palace Leader were reluctant, they had to follow his orders. Universe Knights of the Hong Alliance, do not attack the Golden Horned Beast, Primal Chaos City Leader commanded. He was at the highest level in the Hong Alliance, which meant his voice was heard by the Universe Knights present. They all followed the order. Hua. Thousand Treasures River disappeared, and so did Primal Chaos City Leader. As Primal Chaos City Leader was transmitting his voice to other great beings, Lo Feng heard a different message. My disciple, it's in your best interest that the Space Beast Alliance is involved in this. The Northern Territory Alliance won't interfere anymore, now that Fumo Master has made a promise. Other Universe Knights won't meddle since they know three Universe Masters are involved. The only thing you need to worry about is the Thorn Ring Alliance, but don't be too anxious about that. Get out of here with your remote ocean body and some other great beings. Even if the great beings of the Thorn Ring Alliance want to come and arrange an attack, it will take them quite a while. Lo Feng relieved. Golden Horned Beast waved his wing, preparing to fly away, hua. Little thing, Flame Star Master's voice rang out beside Golden Horned Beast. I've never seen you in the Space Beast Alliance before. Have you been vagabonding? Every Space Beast vagabonds when they are young. Until they are taken back to the Alliance when they become undying to be discovered. Tell me, have you never been back? Chapter 1048? Space Beast Alliance Sanctuary. Wu, perhaps you don't know who I am, the voice continued. I am Flame Star Master from the Space Beast Alliance. I was previously on another original star, and I came here because I realized that the Northern Territory Alliance had dared to attack one of us, based on the conversations I heard from other great beings from the Northern Territory Alliance. Thank you, Flame Star Master, the Golden Horned Beast replied respectfully, lowering his head. No need to thank me, said the voice. You poor thing. You haven't returned? Ever? No, I haven't, the Golden Horned Beast said. I've been alone since the day I was born, and I've never been able to return to the Space Beast Alliance. Lo Feng was afraid of being recognized. However, he recalled what Primal Chaos City leader had said before, that after becoming undying, souls would merge with every inch of godly power, and even Primal Chaos City leader couldn't recognize whether the Golden Horned Beast was Lo Feng himself or a real Golden Horned Beast. However, the virtual universe was all-powerful. One could identify someone's race by connecting to it. If the enemies of other races tried to connect to the sensor of the virtual universe, they would be denied. Unless they sent some human spies, or spies of the Hong Alliance whose minds were controlled. The virtual universe was an incredible invention, and it had many unique functions. Even the most powerful organization, He Ancestral God School, who claimed to be the guardians of universe law, couldn't invent something like the virtual universe. It was a universe of consciousness, and all universe origin laws could be simulated. Never? Flame Star Master said. We have space beasts everywhere in the universe, and all of them rise to power by themselves. They'll only be guided back after becoming undying. There are many great beings of the Space Beast Alliance on the original stars. You can find one of them, act, and go back to the Alliance together. Of course, if you can't wait to go back, you can come back directly. This is the universe coordinate. This is one of the gathering places of our Space Beast Alliance. There'll be beings of our race to receive you, and you'll have the opportunity to go to the Space Beast Alliance Sanctuary. Sanctuary? The Golden Horned Beast's eyes glinted curiously. Yes, Sanctuary. Every great being who is just received will have the opportunity to visit the Sanctuary once, and your power will be further improved there. We'll give you some resources based on your power and potential. You might get special treatment, given that you became so strong even without the help of our race. The Golden Horned Beast listened carefully. Remember the universe coordinates, Flame Star Master continued. You can choose whether to go back now or not. 
I can tell you that there are lots of great beings from the Space Beast Alliance now, and you can take this chance to meet some of them. Also, beware of the Thorn Ring Alliance. I believe that you've transferred your valuables somewhere else, but don't waste this godly body. Golden Horned Beast nodded mildly. Three Universe Masters came here because of that godly blade. The Thorn Ring Alliance is way weaker than us, and all they can send are some universe overlords. But be careful anyway. Hung. The giant beast stepped into the Whirlpool portal and disappeared. Many great beings from the Hong Alliance and the Northern Territory Alliance had retreated when Flame Star Master and the Golden Horned Beast were talking, and Lo Feng's remote ocean body raced toward the Whirlpool portal like a beam of light. He kept flying. He even saw two universe knights from the Hong Alliance. Neither of them could identify the remote ocean body's race, but they speculated that he was a universe overlord since he dared to act alone. However, because they believed remote ocean body to be a universe overlord, they avoided him. Such a smooth journey. No battles at all. Remote ocean body flew out of the vast whirlpool portal and arrived back to the outside. There were indeed no shackles at all. The great beings of the Northern Territory Alliance have retreated, and I didn't see anyone from the Thorn Ring Alliance. Remote Ocean Body smiled, teleported himself to a distant place, and went back using God Country Transportation. Golden Horned Beast flew far away from the portal, and he had flown across the plain and entered the forest. It would take him a long time to arrive at the Whirlpool Portal, and the Thorn Ring Alliance would have enough time to make arrangements. My Golden Horned Beast didn't have any valuable or slave. It's such a waste of time to just fly back like that. Golden Horned Beast blinked his eyes in the silent forest. Suddenly, a loud explosion resounded through the trees. Under the strong pressure and consolidated space of the original star, only hundreds of thousands of square miles around him were affected. Many ancient trees fell, but after a moment, all the fragments gathered, and everything was recovered. It was as if the explosion had never happened. After a long time. Sue. 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 Three beings of the crystal race arrived. There were such strong energies, and they should have come from the battle of great beings, said one of them. Where are the great beings? Maybe they left instantly after that? The three great beings of the crystal race looked around, then left. Nine universe overlords from the Thorn Ring Alliance gathered at the portal to the outside world. We must get the godly blade of Blade River Low this time. Blade River Low is a top-tier domain type true treasure, and it has exceptional attacking power. If some other power gets the godly blade, it'll definitely use it as leverage to blackmail us. We must get back the godly blades as soon as possible. Every blade can strength blade river low to a large extent. Those nine universe overlords just arrived here. They waited there for a long time. Why hasn't the golden horned beast showed up? Weird. One day, two days, three days. Eventually, a universe master from the Thorn Ring Alliance arrived and inspected the original star, and that was when they found that the Golden Horned Beast was no longer on the original star. Which bewildered all the great beings from the Thorn Ring Alliance, as they had no idea where the Golden Horned Beast went. They had to end the plan. The Golden Horned Beast had a godly body of over 600 miles, which contained excessive energies to most great beings, and they wouldn't waste it. But Lo Feng had his remote ocean body, which had an inconceivable amount of godly power. The power it absorbed in an instant could match the power of the entire golden horned beast. The godly body goes back to the origin of the universe after self-destruction. My remote ocean body absorbs godly power form the origin sea of the universe, which takes much less time than flying to the portal. Lo Feng stood in front of the palace and looked at the endless thousand treasures river. He smiled. If the Thorn Ring Alliance made arrangements, their efforts will be in vain. Remote Ocean Body stood at a height of over 5,500 miles. The Golden Horned Beast, meanwhile, stood over 600 miles tall, but had the same amount of energy as Remote Ocean Body did. Lo Feng could use Remote Ocean Body as a Flame God Origin Crystal and blow it up without feeling any remorse, because he could recover it in no time. The godly power contained in a remote ocean body might not be one trillionth that of the boundless remote ocean. It's not because my golden horned beast is small, it's because my boundless remote ocean is too large. Lo Feng exclaimed. It's wonderful to have the boundless remote ocean. No wonder the nine remoteness ocean of nine remoteness master can rival that of a supreme true treasure. A godly body that could rival a supreme true treasure. Nine remoteness master was invincible while within nine remoteness ocean. Lo Feng had yet to attain such power, but his boundless remote ocean held the same potential. 
Self-destruction there, recovery here. Mused Lo Feng, in a good mood. Primal Chaos City leader transmitted his voice to Lo Feng. Come here, Lo Feng. Yes, teacher. Lo Feng turned around, looked at the main palace, and teleported himself there. Inside the palace. You have come back safely? Primal Chaos City leader said, grinning at Lo Feng. Yes, Lo Feng said, smiling. Fortunately, you showed up in time. If it weren't for you, I would have been in even deeper trouble. It was actually easier to deal with than I expected, Primal Chaos City leader said. That Fumo Master would have definitely confronted me if it weren't for Flame Star Master. Even if I had used Thousand Treasures River to take you away, it would have taken a while to transfer you to the Whirlpool Portal at light speed. We managed to make it out of there without any real drama, but there may be repercussions later. Lo Feng said, it was because both you and Flame Star Master were there that the Universe Masters from the Northern Territory Alliance realized they didn't stand a chance. Yes. Primal Chaos City leader nodded and exclaimed, also, the godly blade of Blade River Lo is not that important. If it were a top-tier true treasure, Fumo Master wouldn't have backed down like that. He might have summoned other Universe Masters, leading to certain bloodshed. Lo Feng nodded. He understood that a top-tier true treasure was enough to instigate fights among Universe Masters. As for top-tier domain true treasures, they didn't show up at one time on the original star. The most precious part of Blade River Lo was that compass, and without the compass, the godly blade might not be as valuable as an ordinary true treasure blade. However, the godly blades were vital to Thorn Ring Alliance. They owned the compass, and the godly blades could upgrade the compass from its ordinary level to the top tier level. What do you want to do with the godly blade? Primal Chaos City leader asked, looking at Lo Feng. You can take it for your own, or you can give it to our race and get contribution points. With the contribution points, you can buy some resources you need. Or a true treasure you desire. Chapter 1049? Nine Tiger River. I'm willing to hand it to our race, Lo Feng said respectfully. Primal Chaos City leader nodded. Okay. Then go to Primal Chaos City now, as it's the place to donate valuables to our race. Your valuable will be assessed by the Virtual Universe system, and it'll give you the contribution points that match its value. Virtual Universe system? Lo Feng was dazed. The Virtual Universe system is what determines the valuable, and it's the best, Primal Chaos City leader said. Besides, using the virtual universe is the fairest method because it's an artificial intelligence system without any personal bias or interests. All the great beings will be convinced. Lo Feng nodded. I understand. I'll go to Primal Chaos City right now. Go. That same day, Lo Feng arrived at the headquarters of the virtual universe company and started his trip to Primal Chaos City by a spaceship. Inside the spaceship. Ah. It's so uncomfortable, the passengers in the spaceship whispered. The flow of time is in chaos. It's sickening. Lo Feng was sitting in a single room, and he laughed after hearing those complaints. He also felt sick when he went to Primal Chaos City for the first time. After all, the original universe was different from the Primal Universe, and the flow of time was in disorder in the universe portal connecting the two. Many talents who went with him fainted on the ground. It's been 100,000 years, Lo Feng exclaimed. He was still a child when he went to Primal Chaos City Leader the first time, and he couldn't even pass the first level of the Heavenly Bridge, and the most valued talent was Bolan. Now, after adventuring in the Blood River World and Demon Note Mountain, after being the special envoy of the Ganwu section of the Virtual Universe, after thousands of years of training in the Out Domain Battlefield and Ice Hell, after the meditation in the Ancestral God School, after venturing through nine remoteness space, and after 50,000 years of vagabonding in the universe. He finally became undying. After 100,000 years, he no longer considered Shai Huo Knight his competitor. Even if it was a universe overlord. He battled with Key Blood Palace leader, Bei Feng Knight, and Tianyang Knight. It's been 100,000 years, there should have been many battles between talents. There are two battles every 10,000 years, Lo Feng thought. I haven't paid much attention. Mr. Lo Feng, we've arrived at Primal Chaos City, the captain of the spaceship said with veneration. Okay, said Lo Feng. His mind came back to reality. He glanced at the respectful captain, nodded, and walked out. Lo Feng walked across the hallway with the undying Emperor Captain, with undying and Sector Lord Krumamers standing by his side. He stepped out of the spaceship before the other passengers got out. They all whispered, who is he? Even the captain is so respectful of him. Perhaps a universe knight. Incredible. See?
Even the receptionist of the primal chaos city leader saluted him. Among the passengers discussing these matters in low voices, some of them were slaves of primal chaos city leader, and some of them were universe-level fighters, domain lords, and sector lords. Over half of them had come to primal chaos city in the first place, and to them, universe knights were already the supreme beings in the universe. Lo Feng arrived at the city leader palace. Mr. Lo Feng. Mr. Lo Feng. Many guards and servants recognized Lo Feng. They all knew that Lo Feng had killed Bark Mirror Emperor and that his palace was on the mountainside of Thunder Island, and he was qualified to attend the Supreme Council meeting. They all showed him great respect. Lo Feng had studied the procedures of donating valuables before coming. The location was at a side palace, and he needed to file an application for donating valuables. The side palace was closed generally, and it would open automatically after the application and the applicant arriving there. Lo Feng walked to the side palace. Hong. Long. The door slowly opened. Lo Feng stepped inside. Hong. Long. The door closed. This is the place where I donate the valuable. Lo Feng looked around the side palace. There was only a stone plate with a diameter of around 300 feet at the center. Lo Feng needed to put the valuable on the stone plate so the virtual universe could carefully assess the valuable. Lo Feng took out the godly blade. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, muttered Lo Feng. I only have one godly blade of Blade River Low, which is almost useless to me. Aside from the blades, there's a compass, and it's almost impossible to attain. As for the idea of fighting against a Thorn Ring Alliance, I'm not powerful enough to do that yet. Lo Feng stepped forward and erased his life imprint on the godly blade. He put the blade on the stone plate. Wang. Cyan threads burst out of the stone plate and surrounded the godly blade. Suddenly, Lo Feng heard a voice. Godly blade of Blade River Low, spoke the voice, mild and gentle. It is worth twelve true treasure points. Are you willing to give it to our race, Lo Feng? Lo Feng smiled. Of course. Ka. The stone plate cracked, splitting into two halves. The godly blade fell through the crack, and the stone plate quickly closed back up again. This is the catalog of valuables of the human race, the voice continued. Suddenly, a giant gray catalog showed up in the sky. It featured four types of valuables. True treasures, treasures, materials, and special resources. Lo Feng looked up at it, considering his options. Special resources, Lo Feng said. Hua. The menu changed, and a plethora of names of resources appeared. Lo Feng was thrilled by this simple inventory, as it might list the core resources of the human race. Of course, Lo Feng was not even qualified to see many of them. For instance, true treasures were divided into ordinary true treasures, senior true treasures, top tier true treasures, pinnacle true treasures, and supreme true treasures. Lo Feng could only see ordinary true treasures and senior true treasures. The others, Lo Feng was not qualified to view. Regardless, Lo Feng doubted there were any supreme true treasures in the human race even available for exchange. As for materials, there were lots of ingredients for making weapons and potions. There were all kinds of special resources, a category comprised of anything that didn't qualify within the other categories, even Undying Bug Clan Queen and other special life forms for soul transfer. The prices varied based on each item's rarity and level of importance. Lo Feng spent three hours reading the entire catalog. I have my boundless remote ocean to supply godly power, so I don't need the materials or resources, thought Lo Feng. And I don't make weapons and potions. Lo Feng shook his head. I'll just get another true treasure. There were two levels of contribution points. The race could bestow treasure points or true treasure points. The average ordinary treasure was worth half a treasure point or one and a half true treasure points. As for some special treasures, sets of treasures or even domain type treasures, flying palace type treasures, and soul type treasures could rival ordinary true treasures, they were much more valuable. An ordinary true treasure was worth about one true treasure point. Generally, one true treasure point was worth 3,000 to 4,000 treasure points, and the exchange rate fluctuated within that range. As for now, one true treasure point was worth 3,200 treasure points. True treasures and senior true treasures. Lo Feng read the prices of the valuables. The prices of senior true treasure blades ranged from 8 true treasures points to 30 true treasure points. The prices of senior true treasure armor ranged from 12 true treasure points to 60 true treasure points. As for senior domain type true treasure, Lo Feng could only see the cheapest one, which was worth 180 true treasure points. 
Lo Feng didn't even bother reading the others. Among the senior true treasures, close combat weapons were the cheapest, and true treasures for survival were relatively more expensive. Flying palace type, soul type, and domain type treasures were the priciest ones. I'll check the ordinary true treasures, Lo Feng said, shaking his head. I have star map, Shai Wu wing, and force armor. I don't need those senior close combat weapons, spiritual force weapons, and armor. He started to read about the ordinary true treasures. They were cheaper, as expected. On average, they were one-tenth of the price of senior true treasures, and the quantity was much higher. He suspected they had been donated by universe masters who didn't need them anymore. So cheap. They're so cheap. Lo Feng kept exclaiming. However, he was dazed when he noticed the flying palace type, soul type, and domain type treasures up for exchange. The prices of ordinary flying palace type true treasures ranged from 18 to 80 true treasures points, the prices of ordinary soul type true treasures ranged from 36 to 120 treasures points, the prices of ordinary domain type true treasures ranged from 16 to 80 true treasure points. These ones, on the other hand, are expensive, Lo Feng muttered, realizing he couldn't purchase any of them with his measly 12 true treasure points. The cheapest ordinary domain type true treasure is worth 16 true treasure points, and there are 13 of them at this price. Lo Feng read them carefully and quickly had his eyes on a domain type true treasure named Nine Tiger River. Chapter 1050. Take off. Nine Tiger River. It was an ordinary domain type true treasure, metal category, and it required 16 true treasure points. The fact that it was in the metal category was what attracted Lo Feng. He said, details of Nine Tiger River. Hua. The scene showed up in the sky, and a river with golden water flew in all directions. Inside the golden river lived nine strange beasts with scales, tiger heads, and the bodies and tails of dragons. The nine strange beasts looked indistinct and were frolicking in the river. Nine Tiger River is a domain-type true treasure, and it has mighty suppression and bounding power, he said in a mild voice. If enemies are relatively weak, it can annihilate them instantly. It's a domain-type true treasure of the metal category. Undying fighters who become undying under gold law are able to wield it. Together with the gold law domain and the true treasure domain, the power can be multiplied. If someone becomes a universe knight under space law, he is also able to merge space law domain with the true treasure domain, because space law rumps gold, wood, water, fire, and ground law. Those who practice time space are unfit for Nine Tiger River. Lo Feng nodded contently after reading all the information. He was already relatively satisfied with Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, which could effectively suppress senior universe knights on the original stars, and was also able to affect universe overlords. That was, after all, how Lo Feng had so easily survived his encounter with Qi Blood Palace Master and Bei Feng Knight. However, he was not satisfied enough with it. The restraining power was not strong enough. When it came to those who were talented at escape, such as Tianyang Knight, Golden Thread Aurora Mirror would be rendered useless. Such fighters could simply use a true treasure to escape. If only I had a more powerful domain type true treasure, Lo Feng thought. Even Tianyang Knight has better law comprehension than me, and even if he has a true treasure wing, he won't be able to get away. But I can escape danger with the domain type true treasure. Nine Tiger River. Lo Feng whispered, concentrating on it. Unfortunately, it required 16 true treasure points. Doesn't matter, Lo Feng said, clenching his teeth. I need better valuables. He waved his hand, and a Rubik's cube appeared on his palm. He put the cube on the stone plate. Cyan threads burst out of the plate and surrounded that cube, and the same voice said, a seal-type treasure, which is worth 22 true treasures. Lo Feng, are you willing to contribute this valuable to the race? Only 22 true treasure points? Lo shook his head. No. The cube flew back to Lo Feng. I'll try others, he thought. Lo Feng tried one treasure after another, testing to see how many contribution points he could get. He was surprised to discover that the purple clock was worth 89 treasure points, while a seal star was only worth 30. The green axe silver I had given him in the ice hell was only worth 3 treasure points. Seal-type treasures were all relatively more valuable, but the purple clock shocked Lo Feng. The swallowing claw is worth 1,200 treasure points? Lo Feng shook his head. But it's not enough. Next, I'll try these two. Lo Feng waved his hands, an ancient boat galaxy appeared on his left hand, while Golden Thread Aurora Mirror appeared on his right. Wine Master, whispered Lo Feng. 
My plan was to make the ancient boat galaxy you left in the land of valuables famous throughout the universe, but I might not be lucky enough to have that chance. I'll contribute this ancient boat galaxy to my race, and if no great beings exchange for it in the future, I'll get it back. If not, then perhaps it's not destined to be mine. As a matter of fact, Lo Feng loved ancient boat galaxy. Otherwise, he wouldn't have given it the name galaxy in the first place. However, on the path to becoming a great being, he couldn't sacrifice his chance of an important true treasure just because of something he fancied. As for Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, it'll be useless if I have Nine Tiger River. Lo Feng put the Golden Thread Aurora Mirror on the stone plate. It was a domain type treasure, which was worth 2.3 true treasure points. Ancient Boat Galaxy, a flying palace type treasure, was worth 3.6 true treasure points. Ancient Boat Galaxy is more expensive than Golden Thread Aurora Mirror? Lo Feng chuckled. Is it because it was previously used by a supreme being? Without a doubt, it was. Although he had some treasures, and some were set treasures, they were all much cheaper. He might need to give away hundreds of them to gain just one ordinary true treasure. A flying palace type top tier treasure, worth 3.6 true treasures, said the mild toned voice. Are you willing to contribute it to the race? Lo Feng nodded. Yes, I am, he said. Domain type top tier treasure, the voice continued, worth 2.3 true treasure points. Are you willing to contribute it to the race? Yes, said Lo Feng. Nine Tiger River. Price? 16 true treasure points. Do you wish to exchange for it, Lo Feng? Lo Feng didn't hesitate for even a second. I do. Hong. Long. The plate cracked slowly open until it showed a portal leading to an abyss. Then a valuable flew out. It was a fist-sized golden sculpture of a strange beast with a tiger head and the body and tail of a dragon. The sculpture flew toward Lo Feng, who took it in his hand. Nine Tiger River is mine now. Lo Feng penetrated it with a trace of his godly power and sealed his life imprint in it. The sculpture quickly merged into his palm, and a picture showed up on his palm. Ancient Boat Galaxy. He said. He looked up at the screen and selected Flying Palace Type Treasures. A Flying Palace Type Treasure named Silver Dragon Phantom Boat had just appeared. It was available at the price of 4 true treasure points, obviously higher than what Lo Feng had been given for it. He now finally understood. What was really meant by contribute? Great beings supplied valuables at a lower price, and the race then sold them to other great beings at their true value. The race was thus able to acquire many valuables, which were used to cultivate the weaker members. Lo Feng had contributed Ancient Boat Galaxy, Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, and Blade River Lo to the human race. In exchange, he had been given 17.9 true treasure points. After spending 16 true treasure points on Nine Tiger River, he now had 1.9 left. He decided not to continue to exchange for other valuables. After all, other valuables were not worthwhile. It was more important for great beings to have quality true valuables than it was to have more valuables. A single star tower was much more precious than tens of thousands of true treasures. After leaving Primal Chaos City, he went to his god kingdom. Hua. 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 In the sky above the boundless remote ocean, the golden horned beast stood with his wings opened. Howl. The golden horned beast howled and burned his godly power, powering the strange golden beast picture on his chest. Hong. A churning river appeared with a diameter of 20 million miles, with the golden horned beast at the center. Nine eerie beasts could be seen swimming in the golden river. La Domain, sand the golden horned beast, standing at the center of the river. Nine Tiger River Domain. Merge. Hong. The power was multiplied, and the almighty golden river churned up into the sky. This domain is much stronger than that of Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, Lo Feng said. He nodded. If I drove the Golden Thread Aurora domain with my burning godly power before, I could annihilate an elementary universe knight. However, I can use the same amount of time to annihilate a secondary one with this Nine Tiger River. Power. Gather. All the energies in the Golden River rush toward those strange beasts, strengthening them. It could severely injure a secondary universe knight, and it would be able to kill one after several attacks. Lo Feng sensed the power and nodded. Even senior universe knights would be trapped by this, and it could even slow down universe overlords. All this greatly satisfied Lo Feng. He nodded. If I meet Yan Yang Knight again, he'll be slowed down if he falls in the domain of my Nine Tiger River, and I can catch up with him. Lo Feng put the Nine Tiger River domain and the Golden Horned Beast body back in his world ring and stood above the boundless remote ocean. 
He hadn't stayed long on the original star, but the experience had certainly broadened Lo Feng's horizons. There were billions of great beings of all the races gathering, including many universe overlords. I'm not strong enough. True treasure wing. Lo Feng recalled the black-winged Yan Yang Knight owned. He couldn't care less about Blade River Lo's component, as he knew that it was impossible for him to get Blade River Lo by himself. What Lo Feng really wanted was that wing Tian Yang Knight owned. My Shai Wu wings and that black wing attracted each other, thought Lo Feng. If they are combined, the power will definitely surge. I bet Yan Yang Knight also wants to get my wing. Hmm. Time to go to the Yin Fa secret region. Time to get the fourth black medal. Master Zuo Shan Qi had given him three tasks. He could get the third black medal if he became a sector lord, and he could get the fourth black medal if he became undying. When he became a universe knight, he could go and obtain the last black medal. Then he had been trapped in ice hell for more than 2000 years. The fourth black medal is hidden in the Yin Fa secret region, an area that is known for being dangerous, Lo Feng thought. It might take a long time, and I don't know what tasks my teacher has prepared for me. But I have to go and give it a try. It might take forever, but my power will escalate if I get the fourth medal. Perhaps my golden horned beast body can reach a perfect life gene level. Last time, when his remote ocean body had reached the perfect life gene level, he had received the inherited technique I am the universe, and his godly body had become more than 55,000 miles long. However, Lo Feng had chosen to turn the godly body into a boundless remote ocean, which was why he couldn't perform the inherited technique I am the universe. For what it's worth, the fourth black metal might help my golden horned beast reach the perfect life gene level, Lo Feng thought. Once I succeed, I'll go deal with Jian Yang Knight. Lo Feng left the human territory after going back to the primal region, and he departed for the extremely dangerous Yin Fa secret region. Chapter 1051 Yin Fa Secret Region Craftsman Star. It took Lo Feng more than a month to arrive at the Yin Fa Secret Region. It was in a remote place of the universe and was one of the most dangerous secret regions in the universe. It was as dangerous as the Ancestral God Secret Region, but Yin Fa Secret Region was only as large as the Black Dragon Mountain Starfield, which was much smaller than the Ancestral God Secret Region. Inside an unremarkable spaceship stood Lo Feng, gazing at the space in the distance. The destination is right in front of me. Craftsman Star. Master Zuo Shan Qi told me a long time ago that finding the black metal is a task for me. He frowned. Other great beings might not know my skills, but Master Zuo Shan Qi is an exception. He knows all my power. Perhaps, it will be dangerous this time. Xu. A golden horned beast that was about three feet tall appeared with his wings open. I'll leave all my valuables with my golden horned beast body, Lo Feng said. He turned around and saw Golden Horned Beast floating there. Remote Ocean Body, Masha Body, and I will go to Craftsman Star. Even if I fail, I'll just lose some energy. Go. Sue. Lo Feng teleported himself out of the spaceship, and Masha Body showed up. Masha Body teleported all three of them more than 3,000 light years farther and arrived at the destination, while the Golden Horned Beast Body stayed in the spaceship with all the true treasures. Many enormous space whirlpools swirled everywhere. A 30-foot-tall towering being stood in the space. It was the remote ocean body of Lo Feng. After all, his original earthling body had gathered too much fame, and Masha body was too weak. It would be better for remote ocean body to act alone. The legendary craftsman star, Lo Feng said as he gazed at the space in the distance. Here, there was a vast ocean with tens of thousands of space whirlpools. There was a gigantic star in the depths. It was the craftsman star, Lo Feng's destination. Craftsman Star was an outrageously large star that could have only existed in one of the universe's secret regions. It had a diameter of 1.9 trillion miles. Although it was unusual for such a gigantic star to exist, there were many others of such size, they were simply unknown. The reason the Craftsman Star was well known was the great being living on the star. A universe master named Craftsman. He was a powerful universe master who was a mountain special life form. He had been born to craft weapons and had loved making them even back when he was weak. Throughout the years, he had kept making breakthroughs, devoting an eternity to making weapons, until he was considered the best weapon maker in the universe. Zuo Shan Ki's ability to make true treasures was obscure. And this identity made him stand out among all the great beings in the universe. Craftsman was able to make top-tier true treasures. There were two other great beings who could make top-tier true treasures, 
and the reason for Craftsman's superiority over those two was the Craftsman Star. The Craftsman Star itself was a top-tier, flying palace-type true treasure. Craftsman didn't belong to any power. The Ancestral God School had tried to appeal to him, as well as many other superpowers in the universe, but to date, he hadn't joined any power yet. For one thing, he was mighty, possessing many true treasures. Hence, it was nearly impossible to kill him. For another, he was proficient in crafting true treasures. This placed him at a level close to many supreme beings. As a result, nobody dared to attack him. A maniac. Thought Lo Feng. Only a maniac can go this far on this path. He gazed at Craftsman Star in the distance. He consumed so much material just to turn a star into a flying palace type top tier true treasure. Su. Lo Feng flew toward that star, sometimes teleporting himself. The countless space whirlpools around Craftsman Star were natural wormholes. There were 98,200 in total, and only a portion of them led to safe areas. Others led to extremely dangerous places. A tablet? said Lo Feng. As he got closer, he saw floating tablets in front of two-thirds of the whirlpools. One tablet after another. Most of them were labeled dangerous. Some read forbidden, and there were two with off-limits written in bloody script. Those whirlpools without tablets might lead to safe districts, thought Lo Feng. As for dangerous, forbidden and off-limits. Lo Feng looked at one of the two tablets, with off-limits written on it. The power emanating from the words intimidated Lo Feng. Only universe masters could write such things. Rumor has it that there are 98,200 natural wormholes around Craftsman Star, and two of them lead to places that are supposed to be off-limits. Thought Lo Feng. Almost everyone who has gone in there has died. However, according to the information in the Hong Alliance, there are great beings who have survived the whirlpools. But they refuse to talk about the off-limits places. In time, Lo Feng passed by all the wormholes and arrived in the sky above Craftsman Star. The great universe master craftsman is generous and friendly, and he isn't as aloof as most universe masters. He favors special life forms, so many special life forms in Yin Fa Secret Region move to Craftsman Star and live a peaceful life on the star. Lo Feng Dove. Craftsman Star. A peaceful place with no killings. Many great beings come here for true treasures, and many come here to learn how to make true treasures. Lo Feng flew through the clouds and landed. He took a step, moving six million miles forward. He had gathered information about the star before he came. The residents on Craftsman Star were special life forms. Some of them were undying, and some of them were universe knights. Though there were numerous powerful beings, the star remained peaceful. I can sense it. The black metal is calling me. Lo Feng moved forward, and the original earthling body in his world ring could sense the black metal, just as when he had obtained the second black metal. Not even the world ring was able to cut off the attraction. That direction. Lo Feng raced toward it. As he traveled, Lo Feng witnessed many special life forms having fun, some of whom were a rare sight in other areas of the universe. Sector lords, undying fighters. Lo Feng even saw a universe night level special life form. A streak of green light flew at Lo Feng. It was an energy body with a pretty face. Where did you come from, outsider? The being demanded. Are you here to learn how to make true treasures from Craftsman Master? Lo Feng smiled. I do, but I heard that the standards are pretty high. The green light flew beside Lo Feng. They are. There are always great beings coming here who want to be a student of Craftsman Master. Many have failed. Craftsman Master has 182 disciples in total. Lo Feng smiled, nodded, and moved forward using teleportation. The green light easily followed Lo Feng. Have you ever been to Craftsman Star? The green light asked. Do you know where the Craftsman Mountain is? Ha ha. Lo Feng smiled without giving anything away. After all, he was being drawn by the fourth black metal, and he was certain that the black metal was in that direction. Lo Feng walked for half an hour before arriving at Craftsman Mountain, during which he continued talking with the green light. Lo Feng learned a great deal during the half-hour conversation, including that the green light was called Bo Nai Sha and had moved to Craftsman Star with her race a long time ago. According to Bo Nai Sha, she knew almost everything about the star, and she saw great beings coming here for true treasures all the time. That's Craftsman Mountain, Bo Nai Sha said, pointing in the distance at a towering mountain piercing the clouds. Craftsman Master lives on the mountain, and his disciples come down to gather material often. See? There are many buildings on the mountain. Most were built by great beings of other races. 
after all, craftsman master rarely shows himself as they're not qualified to be greeted by him. They can only wait for the moment when craftsman master comes out and tests his disciples. That's when they go and ask for true treasures. With every word, Bo Naisha grew more excited. Lo Feng nodded. He concentrated on the craftsman mountain, and he could feel a strong attraction even with the world ring in the middle. The original earthling body could feel every cell of his body exhilarated by the fourth black metal in that craftsman mountain. He put the fourth black metal in craftsman mountain? That's where craftsman master lives. Lo Feng frowned. I can't get a black metal from a universe master no matter how strong I am. Lo Feng considered. Bo Nai Sha flew around Lo Feng and said, aren't you here to learn how to make true treasures from craftsman master? Look, there are some universe knights groveling over there. Just go join them. If you're sincere enough and have the potential to create true treasures, craftsman master will admit you as his disciple. Chapter 1052. Chrysalis Night. The towering craftsman mountain shot up through the misty clouds. At the foot of the mountain, several hundred great beings of different races knelt. At first glance, Lo Feng could recognize a third of them as universe knights. The rest were undying great beings. Close to 200 universe knights kneeling, Lo Feng said to himself. The ability to create true treasures must be extremely desirable. Hey! Why aren't you going? Bo Nai Sha, who was beside Lo Feng, asked out of curiosity. I do desire to learn. Lo Feng smiled and lowered his eyes to look at Bo Nai Sha. I certainly do want to learn the legendary skill of the craftsman master. However, I am not confident. Therefore, I'm here more for satisfying my curiosity. To take a look. They are all here to try their luck, said Bo Nai Sha. Out of these 500 or more candidates, it will be a generous intake if two or three are accepted as disciples. She pointed to the crowd of great beings of different races on their knees. These great beings, either in the life form of energy, flesh and blood, or rock, were all down on their knees. All waiting wordlessly. How long have they been kneeling? Lo Feng asked. Waiting, waiting till the craftsman master appears, Bo Naisha said lightly. Kneeling for thousands of years or even tens of thousands of years is commonplace. But the longest wait has yet to exceed 100 centuries. If one does not even have the perseverance to kneel for a long period of time, one is not worthy to learn the skill of making true treasures. Lo Feng nodded. I can't accompany you any further, said Bo Nai Sha. I'm heading off to visit my friend. She danced around Lo Feng before flying off into a deep blue building. Lo Feng looked up at the towering craftsman mountain as he made his way toward it. So many different races, he said. He looked at the many buildings of different styles located quite a distance away. These numerous ancient buildings were abodes that great beings had constructed while here to seek an audience with craftsman master. The majority were vacated, but a sizable number of them were still occupied by great beings. They might be great beings from other races who are here to seek treasures, Lo Feng said to himself. The fourth black metal board can be found on Craftsman Mountain, Craftsman Master is on that mountain. Given his power, how am I going to obtain the fourth black metal board? Even if I did manage to steal it, Craftsman Master controls the space and time here. He could catch me easily. He gazed up at the mountain. How am I going to obtain it? While thinking, Lo Feng walked on, not realizing that he had already reached the foot of the mountain. Stop. My friend, stop. A deep and melodious voice called out. Lo Feng turned to look. Amid the crowd of over 500 universe knights and undying great beings, a handful looked over. Among them, there was a being with four hooves and a human body over 1,000 feet tall. He was watching Lo Feng with three golden eyes, and in a melodious voice, he said, My friend, Craftsman Mountain is where Craftsman Master and his disciples reside. Any other great beings without prior permission from Craftsman Master will not be able to enter the region. Entering without consent would be showing disrespect to master. Oh, said Lo Feng with a smile. Thank you. I was too engrossed in my thoughts. Are you also here for the purpose of asking craftsman master to take you in as his disciple? The being shifted its gaze downwards to look at Lo Feng. Although he was kneeling, he was still taller than Lo Feng. Just curious, Lo Feng said. If there is hope for me to become a disciple, I will work hard. At the same time, Lo Feng found himself wondering, what kind of life form does the knight belong to? Based on what he could recall, there was not a single race with a description that matched. That's right. Golden Eye Knight said with a laugh. As long as there is hope, we should never give up. I am already able to make ordinary treasures, and before coming here, I was filled with confidence. 
however, upon arriving. I realized that when compared with the extraordinary geniuses from the many races of the universe where everyone is so adept at making weapons, I am inadequate. You see that being of the demon race over there? He may only be undying, but at his level, he is already capable of making ordinary treasures. His chances of being chosen to be craftsman master's disciple is far higher than mine. Lo Feng was dumbfounded as he looked over. Also kneeling was a beast that resembled a golden-haired ape. It had a weaker aura, an aura that was only at the undying level. Undying, yet able to make ordinary treasures? Lo Feng blinked in disbelief. Geniuses. They really are an omnipresent existence. Lo Feng sighed to himself. Golden Eye Knight sighed too, then said, in the ancestral god secret region, I am an honorable weapon master, but when I arrived here, I realized how lacking my skills were. Our unique life forms may seem very capable. But when it comes to making weapons, we are not in an advantageous position. You see, these undying beings, at their level, are already being brought by the great beings of their races to this Yinfa secret region, the craftsman star. If they hadn't possessed a certain level of skills, would they dare come here? These few hundreds of undying beings. I suppose the majority are already able to make pseudo-treasures. Pseudo-treasures? Lo Feng was baffled. What level would a pseudo-treasure be at? It seemed there were some terms known only among weapon masters, or at least unknown to someone like Lo Feng. That's all right, I'm not here to try my luck at being a disciple, Lo Feng continued. Then he muttered under his breath, if I were to do so, I would only embarrass myself. You should give it a shot, Golden Eye Knight laughed. Craftsman Master has very stringent requirements when it comes to selecting disciples. Although talent matters, there are many other factors also taken into consideration. So long as you possess some skill in making weapons and you can make a pseudo-treasure. Who knows? You might be lucky enough to become a disciple of Craftsman Master. Take me, for instance. I have been persistent all this while. I am just curious, Lo Feng repeated. Just curious, that's all. Lo Feng immediately left the area packed with over 500 geniuses skilled in making weapons, all sincerely hoping to become disciples of Craftsman Master. Reaching the foot of the mountain, he built himself a courtyard house. Making weapons? He thought. As if. I cannot even handle a weapon that is of a slightly higher caliber, much less a pseudo-treasure. During the remodeling of the Yun Mo planet ship, when I needed to imprint engravings, I had to engage the help of internal personnel from the Virtual Universe Company. Lo Feng shook his head in resignation. He was a complete ignoramus when it came to weapons. He had zero knowledge. Compared to the numerous top-notch weapons geniuses gathered here from all over the vast universe, he could not help feeling ashamed. Standing before the entrance of his courtyard, Lo Feng looked at over 500 kneeling figures of various races, then turned up to look at the towering craftsman mountain. My initial plan was to ask craftsman master to take me in as his disciple, he muttered. After entering Craftsman Mountain, I could take my time to craft a plan to obtain the black metal board. But now it seems that, other than Craftsman Master and his disciples, no one is able to enter the mountain. And becoming his disciple is out of the question. What should I do? How am I going to obtain the black metal board? Lo Feng was frustrated. But even without a feasible plan, he was not anxious. He waited patiently at the foot of the Craftsman Mountain, observing the activities that took place around the area fastidiously, seeking the perfect opportunity. In the blink of an eye, half a year had passed. During that time, Lo Feng made acquaintances with the great beings of other races who stayed in the buildings around him. The great beings of other races were all universe knights, and there were quite a few universe overlords, too. Those who had stayed to wait all sought true treasures from the great craftsman master. A four-armed giant known as Chrysalis Knight, presently sitting cross-legged beside Lo Feng, sighed and lamented, I am the leader of a race, so finding a variety of valuables for the race is my responsibility. Although I joined the Nine Territory Alliance, those of highest standing were Universe Masters. I am only a Universe Overlord, so the resources I have were far inferior. For great beings of races with Universe Masters, three top-tier series of treasures can be exchanged for an ordinary true treasure. For me? I will need four top-tier series of treasures. Chrysalis Knight shook his head. And this is only one of the many examples of unfair treatment. I am ever at a loss. Lo Feng nodded in sympathy as he listened. Things are different for the pinnacle races, the four-armed giant said, shaking his head again. The six pinnacle races, with their overwhelming power, countless valuables, and great beings, enjoy a blessed life. When they exchange valuables internally, no one experiences unfair treatment. 
but for races like mine, where I am the sole universe overlord. Humph. Remote Ocean Lo Feng, should there come a day that I am killed, please help me. Please help my silk and rock race to live on and pass on its legacy. Lo Feng replied, Chrysalis Knight, don't talk like that. Should death befall you, the Nine Territory Alliance will resurrect you. But if you really need my help, I will reach out to you. Chrysalis Knight was one of the great beings here whom Lo Feng had come to befriend, and he was one of the few Lo Feng got along with fairly well. He was the honorable leader of the Silk and Rock race, and if he did fall, the entire Silk and Rock race faced the risk of dying out. Chrysalis Knight needed to take care of his race. As such, he was unwilling to exchange his treasures with the Nine Territory Alliance for true treasures. He would only stand to lose. I can only approach Craftsman Master with my plea for help," said Chrysalis Knight. Craftsman Master, with various materials obtained from treasures, could make a true treasure. This would be much better than exchanging treasures within the race. Chrysalis Knight sighed. This way, I would still be able to retain a fair bit of resources for my race. With the race developing, I can also grow stronger. Only then will our future generations continue to grow. I. Lo Feng was full of admiration. His capability was considered strong, yet he did not have any such responsibilities. Humans, as a whole, were very much stronger and more dominating. Although there was little difference between him and Chrysalis Knight. Chrysalis Knight had to shoulder the rise and fall of his entire race. Xylo Duo, who had the capability of a universe overlord, held a fate somewhat similar to that of Chrysalis Knight, thought Lo Feng. While Xylo Duo was with them, the Golden Horned race was able to stand as an independent race in the universe. Yet the moment Xylo Duo was killed, the Golden Horned race could only rely on stronger great beings for survival, and became a vassal race. As Lo Feng and Chrysalis Knight were chatting, a voice suddenly exclaimed, Look! Those are Craftsman Master's disciples. It's Craftsman Master's disciples. Someone else shouted. Lo Feng and Chrysalis Knight stood up at the same time. From the palaces and buildings around them, knights of various races stepped out. They were all there seeking true treasures. The number of figures emerging, at one glance, numbered several thousand. These great beings all yearned for the same thing. To engage Craftsman Master's help in making true treasures. Such true treasures would be comparable to those obtained through trading within alliances, but at a much lower price. Thousands of knights, some burly and others petite, some hairy and others metal-plated, all flocked toward the figures approaching the ground. The handful of figures landed. Dear brothers, said a great being from the 500-plus great beings kneeling on the ground, speaking in a respectful demeanor. May I ask, when will Craftsman Master meet us? What's the rush? One of Craftsman Master's disciples answered. Master has gone visiting. He may not return for thousands or tens of thousands of years. Enjoy the wait. Following his response, the disciples rapidly transformed into rays of light and made a speedy departure. Visiting? Lo Feng said, squinting into the distance. Hmm. Chapter 1053? In the flames. The great beings conversed excitedly among themselves. Meeting a friend? Craftsman master is meeting a friend, so we're just going to wait here and do nothing? From my perspective, we should go to the original stars first, and perhaps we can get something precious. The original stars will stay open for a thousand eras. It's only just begun. We have plenty of time. That's right. We don't need to rush now. Let's ask Craftsman Master to help us make a true treasure, and then we'll go to the original stars. We can get more valuables with the true treasures. Let's go. No, let's wait. The great beings of other races from various territories in the universe were quite disappointed and started to go back to their residence. All 500 of the great beings kneeling at the foot of the mountain were upset as well, but they continued groveling and didn't dare stand up. They believed that there were great beings watching their every move, reporting back to Craftsman Master. Sincerity was of the utmost importance if someone wanted to be a disciple. One might be eliminated if he wasn't sincere enough while groveling. Let's go, Lo Feng said Chrysalis Knight. We might need to wait for thousands of years for Craftsman Master. Okay. Lo Feng nodded, smiled, and walked back with Chrysalis Knight. He stood in front of the door and looked up at Craftsman Mountain. Meeting a friend? Thought Lo Feng. Does that mean Craftsman Master is not here? His eyes gleamed. A great opportunity. He had been waiting for half a year, but it was still impossible for him to get the black metal with Craftsman Master guarding the Craftsman Mountain. Craftsman Mountain is the sanctuary of the entire planet, and Craftsman Master lives here, Lo Feng thought. 
only craftsman master and his disciples can live on the mountain, while other great beings were not allowed without permission, which means there are only a few great beings on craftsman mountain. As for his disciples, no one is a universe master, based on the information I gathered. Craftsman Master had 182 disciples in total. Some disciples were universe knights, and some were undying. Although Craftsman Master only picked those who were highly talented, none of his disciples had reached the level of universe master. One of the reasons was that it was exceedingly difficult to become a universe master. Another reason was that his disciples devoted most of their time and energy to making weapons, and hence, they didn't get enough training. Nobody can stop me if there are no universe masters, thought Lo Feng. But I still need to be careful. It won't be easy to get something from Craftsman Master. Lo Feng was afraid that Craftsman Master might come back if he didn't act in time, so when it turned dark, he sent Masha Body carrying his original Earthling body. Masha Body was the best at fleeing and hiding. The original Earthling body had the same level of combat power as Remote Ocean Body. Which was why the Remote Ocean Body was waiting at the mountain site and observing how everything went while the original Earthling Body and Masha Body started to climb the hill. Masha Body shrank to the size of an ant and stood beside a stone on the hillside of Craftsman Mountain. He looked up at the towering Craftsman Mountain. Craftsman Master. Masha Body said, stepping forward. Sue. He teleported himself to the depths of Craftsman Mountain. He was able to teleport himself and match the space ripples without being noticed by Universe Knights. He arrived at the closest spot to the valuable after just two teleportations. Hung. Long. Long. On the hillside of Craftsman Mountain were numerous gigantic caves billowing steam exceeding temperatures of 1 million degrees. The steam flowed around Craftsman Mountain, and the energy contained in the steam was equivalent to that of a star. Every cave glowed red in color. Masha body, under a rock, didn't care much about the steam. The energy of stars was nothing to him now. Space seal? Masha body thought. Around one-tenth of Craftsman Mountain is enveloped by the steam, and it is under space seal. It means this is the center of Craftsman Mountain. As Masha body watched, two towering beings suddenly walked out of one of the caves. One of them was around 70 feet tall with four claws. Various patterns coated his naked body. The other was around 300 feet tall and had thick arms. The two of them walked out together, and Lo Feng could tell from their power that they were both undying. It's too hot inside. The four-clawed creature exclaimed. We couldn't even stand it for a second. How are we supposed to make top-tier treasures if we don't have enough time? We're just not strong enough, replied the other. Look at our universe night level brothers. They're able to make weapons at the center, and they can keep trying. Especially our ninth brother. I really admire Ninth Brother. Not only is Ninth Brother a universe overlord, but he also has true treasure armor, and he's an energy life form of the fire category. He's able to go deep into the center to make weapons, and he has been bestowed some precious material used by our teacher. See? He's already made a senior true treasure, and he's second only to our teacher on the craftsman star. The towering creature shook his head and exclaimed, it'll be much better if we can become universe knights. It's not that easy. The two undying fighters were not alerted to Masha Body's presence. After all, there was no reason to expect that anyone would trespass on Craftsman Mountain. Masha Body heard their conversation easily. The center? He thought. It seems most of their brothers are staying at the mountain center. He looked at the cave. And the center of the mountain is the center of the space seal. I can feel that the fourth black metal is at the center of the mountain. I need to be careful. I must not be discovered by the disciples of Craftsman Master. Masha Body was careful. Although he was proficient at stealth, many of Craftsman Master's disciples were universe knights or even universe overlords. Sue. Inside the space sealed area, teleportation was not allowed. Masha Body instead performed his inherited technique domain and went into a cave. The two undying fighters outside the cave never noticed a thing. It was blistering hot inside, and Masha Body moved forward carefully. The cave was surprisingly deep, and the deeper he went, the hotter it got. Some rocks inside the cave glowed red with the heat. It was so scorching in here that Lo Feng thought sector lords might be killed instantly by the temperature alone. Hung. Pa. Hung. Pa. Hung. Pa. Upon hearing a series of rhythmic sounds, Lo Feng turned into a stone and rolled inside. Some of the patterns on the stone allowed for sight, and Lo Feng observed the distant places using them. The fire was surging. At the top of the fire, life forms of other races of all sizes used hammers to pound the metal, 
producing the sounds he had heard. Hung. Pa. They're all undying, Masha Body thought. My black metal is down there. Sue. He performed Domain again and traveled almost 6,000 miles down. He moved still deeper with Domain and was able to avoid attracting the attention of the great beings of other races who were making the weapons. Lo Feng noticed something special about how the disciples of Craftsman Master made weapons. Those who were at the top of the flames used a strange type of hammer, while those in the middle of the flames were universe knights who used hammers of different sizes and needed to wield them using their godly power. As for the bottom of the fire, there were only three universe knights. One of them was the ninth brother those two undying fighters had talked about. Apparently, the fire intimidated all ordinary universe knights. It's right down there, whispered Lo Feng. My black metal is right down there. He hid beside a rock, camouflaged as a small stone. I can sense clearly that the black metal is above the three universe knights at the bottom. They might notice me if I go there. What should I do? Lo Feng grew anxious. He could sense that the black metal was around 180 miles away from him, and the three universe knights at the bottom were also around 180 miles away from him. That meant the black metal was close to the three universe knights. Just wait, Lo Feng told himself. I bet they won't keep making weapons here for long. Lo Feng watched the three beings in silence. Although Lo Feng didn't know anything about weapon making, he was still amazed at how the three universe overlords made the weapons. It was an art. The three universe overlords only used strange hammers at different sizes, but the hammer wielded by that ninth brother was unique. It looked fierce enough to shatter the universe, yet as mild as a breeze. All the materials it touched mixed with each other perfectly, and the scene was breathtaking. After more than a month, the ninth brother ceased his work and announced, Ha ha. The top tier set treasure is finally finished. If the material were good enough, I could have made a true treasure. Congratulations, ninth brother. Congratulations. Ha ha. He laughed in triumph. Now, I'll go and have a rest. Sounds good. Let's go together. Let's go. With that, the three universe overlords finally went to rest. They flew out of the flame-like beams of light. After they disappeared, Lo Feng turned back into a human form, robed in black. Finally, he said, looking down at where the black metal was. Chapter 1054? Flame Space of the Craftsman Star. In the twinkling of an eye, the black-robed figure of Lo Feng transformed into a rush of black current and condensed into a stone. Thereafter, he fell directly toward the bottom. As the stone fell, it bumped its way down into the deepest depths of the mountain. Pa. The stone rammed into the red-hot stone wall and finally came to a halt. Then the stone transformed back into the black-robed form of Lo Feng. I've arrived, he said, taking in the view before him. He could not help exclaiming, so beautiful. This was the bedrock of the mountain. He could see a strange black matter about six miles ahead. It hung suspended in the air, standing then ten feet tall and in the shape of a gourd-class object. As this black gourd hovered in mid-air, its mouth facing upwards, it spurted endless flames that spread outward, nearly filling up the entire mountain. Disciples of Craftsman Master who were undying beings and universe knights created weapons forged by the heat of these endless flames. As the black gourd hovered in the air, there were invisible connections all over the place, like lengths of chain that could not be seen by the naked eye, connecting the mountain with virtual space. Although these chains were invisible, there were traces of flames strung onto them. They came from the surrounding space and moved inward, directly into the gourd's mouth. There are a total of 36 virtual chains, said Lo Feng. He frowned inwardly. This black gourd seems to merge with the limitless space here. And through this limitless space, it absorbs and stores energy from the flame continually. Is that how it maintains its ability to produce eternal flames? Lo Feng was master of Star Tower. Star Tower absorbed energy from the vast universe to continue revolving, and so, looking at this black gourd. Based on what he knew, Lo Feng was able to make a similar judgment quickly. Unquestionably, the flames near to the gourd's mouth will require the power of a universe overlord to ward off, he said. These endless flames spread out almost 100 miles away. Every individual flame is strong enough to annihilate an eternal star. With such energy as being released continuously, there must be a source where it comes from. Lo Feng could sense that the energy of these endless flames was being continuously transmitted into the black gourd through the 36 virtual chains. Space transmission? Wondered Lo Feng. What method is Craftsman Master using to maintain such an energy-consuming process? 
As a master craftsman of true treasures, he wouldn't be so foolish as to use up his own energy so relentlessly. There must be a source. Like Star Tower. To maintain such strong energy. Lo Feng's eyes lit up as the realization dawned upon him. Of course. The craftsman star. Only the craftsman star can do that. Craftsman star is the greatest true treasure that craftsman master ever created. With its massive size, it can absorb the limitless energy in the atmosphere of the entire virtual space. Could it be that the star absorbs and internalizes the surrounding energy, then transmits the energy to the gourd? This gourd. It could be a part of the craftsman star. After a few seconds of observation, Lo Feng had deduced the truth. Craftsman master had made the craftsman star for two reasons. One was to build a protective home for himself. The other was to construct a primary tool for creating true treasures. The entire craftsman star would be used to absorb limitless energy and continuously churn out flames, which were drawn to the black gourd for the forging process. Killing two birds with one stone, said Lo Feng. Just by modifying the massive craftsman star, he was able to achieve this effect. In fact, with craftsman master's ability, it would be a piece of cake. He stared at the black gourd. I can sense that the black metal board is inside that black gourd. What should I do? Take the gourd away? The thought crossed his mind, but he banished it instantly. It was a laughable idea. The black gourd was a part of craftsman star, it was a subject with a master. Craftsman master would certainly know if he were to take it away. More importantly, Lo Feng was not the master of Craftsman Star. If he wanted to take the Black Gourd, a component of it, he would have to take the entire Craftsman Star. Given the weight and power of Craftsman Star, he might as well have tried to move Thousand Treasure River. Even a Universe Master wouldn't have been able to make it budge. In this way, it was just like Star Tower. If it were to completely unleash its power, even a Universe Supreme Master would not be able to take it away. I'd better not move the black gourd, Lo Feng told himself. I should not act rashly. The gourd's mouth will always be open to spurt out flames. But if I follow the path of the flames being drawn into the gourd's mouth, there's no reason I should meet with any obstructions. Still, Lo Feng was not so sure. He wondered whether the gourd was empty on the inside or filled with even more terrifying flames. Heck, I'm going to go all out, he said. The black metal board is inside the gourd. I have to go in. The temptation was just too strong. In an instant, the black robe form of Lo Feng's godly body split into two. One was his Masha body, the other was his original earthling body. Masha body shall try first. Su. Right away, he used his talent technique domain. In the blink of an eye, he was taking the path into the gourd through the gourd's mouth. Hong. Stepping directly into a bed of red-hot endless flames, Masha body did not even have a moment to look around, nor did it have even a moment to react before it was annihilated. Not even a strand of hair managed to make contact with the flames. Poof. Mashi body was gone in an instant, up in flames, faster than it took a single strand of hair to burn. The moment a godly body entered, it was annihilated immediately, without a split second to react. Lo Feng studied the black gourd suspended in the air by the 36 virtual chains. Instantly, his body unleashed some godly power that rapidly converged to restore Masha body. Masha body might have been similar to his original earthling body in size, but qualitatively, there was a substantial difference, only a small amount of godly power was required to restore his Masha body. Time to let my original earthling body try, said Lo Feng. This godly body of mine is comparable to an ordinary universe knight. Lo Feng frowned as he took out a world ring and tossed it over to his Masha body. At the same time, he also went into the world ring. Go. Masha body immediately took the world ring and used the talent technique domain again. Su. Instantly, they made their way to the black gourd's mouth. Inside the world ring. Hong. Long. Lo Feng looked up at the sky to see the countless cracks on this side of the world. The next thing he knew, the world around him collapsed. Having briefly witnessed how terrifying the flames were, it was obvious that the material used to make the world ring was starting to melt. Then everything on this side of the world collapsed. The next moment, Lo Feng found standing right in the heart of the flames. This is the inside of the black gourd? He said. The moment he appeared in this flaming space, the first sensation he felt was scalding hot. He was reminded of how it had felt when he had first scalded himself as a child. Yet, given his willpower today, Lo Feng was able to suppress this bit of pain without difficulty. Black metal board. He said. Lo Feng felt as though every cell of his body was boiling. The feeling was insane. 
he lowered his gaze to the bottom of this flaming space. There were many various materials here, and all were very precious and unique. All were able to put up with the high temperature without any trouble. And among them was the black metal board at the foot of Craftsman Mountain. Everything was peaceful, just like any other day. Amid the countless buildings left behind by various great beings from all over the universe, remote ocean Lo Feng stood at the door of his courtyard. Masha's body was annihilated in an instant, he thought. Its consciousness did not even have time to react. My original earthling body only managed to lower his head. Though it was only a split second, his consciousness was allowed a moment of thought. Remote ocean Lo Feng sighed to himself. This is so nerve-wracking, he whispered. No wonder universe overlords can only resist the flames from outside. The flames on the inside of the gourd are far more frightening than those on the outside. Lo Feng turned to go back into the house. He sat down cross-legged to think in silence. The flaming space within the black gourd contains extremely precious materials. However, these may only be a portion of the materials Craftsman Master owns. Lo Feng understood that every type of material had different characteristics. Not every material was suitable to be stored within such a scorching hot place. This would be determined by the great being's natural instincts. Truly precious materials would be carried about by great beings so that they could safeguard them. My remote ocean body is much bigger than my original earthling body. The power of its godly body is much stronger, so I suppose it may be able to hold on much longer. Craftsman Master has three formidable disciples. The one called Ninth Brother and two others who are currently not around. I cannot miss such perfect timing. Let's give it a shot. Lo Feng made up his mind. He divided some godly power and directed it to converge with his Masha body. Then Masha body brought his remote ocean body over to Craftsman Mountain, where they snuck in once again. Masha body snuck into the bedrock of the mountain easily for the second time, then stopped a distance away from the black gourd suspended in midair. Are the flames really that powerful? He muttered. I only need a small amount of time to grab the black metal board and fly out quickly. With remote ocean body, Masha entered the black gourd once again. Inside, Masha body was annihilated in an instant as expected, the world ring melted, and the side of the internal world collapsed. The moment remote ocean body appeared, he lowered his head and accelerated toward the bottom in one swift dive. Black metal board. Kai. 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 Endless red hot flames annihilated the godly body of remote ocean body in a frenzied craze, by the time he had managed to cover only about half the distance. Before remote ocean body was able to get to the bottommost area of the flaming space, where all the precious materials were, it was destroyed. Yin Fa Secret Region, 3000 light years from Craftsman Star. A universe planet ship hovered in midair. In the control room, an adorable golden horned beast, only three feet long, lay sprawled on the sofa. Its eyes were full of frustration, and it was mumbling under its breath, I knew it wouldn't be so easy. I knew it. Those frightening flames were much too powerful. Just like how a pinnacle emperor can easily subdue an official level undying with one hand, Craftsman Star has annihilated my godly body effortlessly. Remote ocean body was massive, it continued, but it only took a split second for it to be destroyed. The difference is much too great. No matter how much energy my godly body has, it is bound to burn. This power is more terrifying than the attack of a universe overlord, more powerful than the greatest attack by key blood palace leader. I'm sure it far surpasses the limit of defense of ordinary true treasure armor. Under such force, just as how Golden King armor's power was greatly reduced, to weaken it by one-tenth would be considered a blessing. Golden Horned Beast shook its little head and continued mumbling, even if the power could be weakened to one-tenth, persevering would still be impossible in those endless flame. The fire within Black Gourd is more powerful than any other flames in the outside world. The outside world needs universe overlords who have ordinary true treasure armor. And that gourd. Isn't it a must to depend on force armor? With my force armor, the strength of the flames could be reduced to one ten thousand. That would make things much easier. But if I fail, I would lose force armor, too. Golden Horned Beast lay sprawled in the same spot, letting out low growls intermittently. I knew it. It is not that easy. Not that easy. Sue. To bring force armor or not. To go or not to go. Lo Feng sat down on the sofa with a wine glass in his hand. Golden Horned Beast was also lay sprawled on the sofa. Both sat there, deep in thought. Chapter 1055? Craftsman Master is back. A spaceship floated in a space more than 3000 light years from Craftsman Star. 
Should I go or not? Lo Feng wondered. He had sent remote ocean body out before. He didn't mind a slight energy loss, and he wouldn't care about the Golden King armor. However, after experiencing the power of the flames and seeing the three universe overlord disciples of Craftsman Master standing outside the flames wearing ordinary true treasure armors, Lo Feng had confirmed that ordinary true treasure armors were not enough. Should I use my force armor? Lo Feng frowned. Star Tower and force armor were the most important true treasures he had. The force armor would still be a great boon to him, even he became a universe master in the future. Lo Feng thought about it for more than six hours. Numerous ideas popped up in his head, but all were vetoed. I'll go. He finally decided. After a short while, Masha body took off with golden horned beast body and remote ocean body. Lo Feng had six true treasures in total. Tower Pearl, Star Map, Shai Wu Wing, Force Armor, Golden King Armor, and Nine Tiger River. He sent the golden horned beast carrying three true treasures. Force Armor, Shai Wu Wing, and Nine Tiger River. The force armor was for golden horned beasts to resist the fire, and the Shai Wu wings and Nine Tiger River were to be used to escape. As for Golden King armor and star map, they were useless under these circumstances. Although Tower Pearl was helpful, it was used for Star Tower to recognize Lo Feng as his master, and he couldn't lose it. Compared to force armor, the supreme true treasure Star Tower was far more important to Lo Feng. Thus, he wouldn't risk it. If I fail and lose my force armor, losing my Shai Wu wings and Nine Tiger River will be the least of my worries, Lo Feng thought. Compared to force armor, Nine Tiger River and Shai Wu wing were worthless. Inside the vast space in Craftsman Star were space whirlpools beyond count. Masha body floated in the sky and looked at the Craftsman Star in the distance. I must get the fourth black medal. He said. If Craftsman Master is there, I won't be able to get it. Fortunately, he happens to be outside, and the three universe overlords are resting. I might need to wait for an eternity if I miss this chance. I must go. He thought. Even if I fail and lose the force armor, there's still a chance I can get it back when I become stronger in the future. After all, Craftsman Master won't be able to use it, even if he does get it. It won't be difficult to get it back. And besides, Master Zuo Shan Ki might also interfere. The force armor was made by him, and it won't be a problem for him to get the armor back. After taking this all into consideration, Lo Feng decided to go. His force armor was important to him, but the fourth black metal was even more so. Once he got it, he was likely to make his golden horned beast body reach the perfect life gene level, after which he could perform the inherited technique known as I am the universe. My power will surge with this move. He said. Even if I lose my force armor and get killed, my boundless remote ocean body will create more bodies. There's nothing to worry about. Although his force armor was significant to Lo Feng, it wasn't vital. Still, if it weren't for the fourth medal of the nine volume manual, he wouldn't have risked it. Masha body teleported himself to Craftsman Star and entered the Craftsman Mountain after another teleportation. He was experienced, now, he had used his inherited technique domain to enter the cave before and now went deeper inside. After performing domain 100 times, he arrived in the deepest portion of the mountainside. A three-foot-tall golden horned beast floating in the air gazed at the black gourd connected by 36 chains. The gourd's mouth expelled endless flames, which were so powerful that they might turn an ordinary treasure into ashes. The golden horned beast body had performed deities of the earth, beast god transformation, and inherited technique amplification, and had reached his limit. He had even hidden a world ring that contained the remote ocean body and Masha body. I'm consuming the godly power, while the remote ocean body is supplying godly power, he said. The golden horned beast body, remote ocean body, together with force armor. I'll definitely get the fourth black medal now. The golden horned beast body shrank to the size of a fist. Sue. He flew toward the mouth of the gourd. The black gourd was ten feet tall, and its mouth was about the size of a human head. He entered the gourd. Inside, the golden horned beast body immediately felt the horrifying heat of the flames. The black gourd was used to extract fire for craftsman master to make weapons. The flames that spewed from it made up only a small portion of the fire that raged inside. Here, the flames were much stronger, perhaps enough to annihilate a top-tier set treasure. Hung. The flames were endless. The golden horned beast became three feet long and drove the force armor by burning his godly body, which maximized his defense. Ha ha ha. Nice. The force armor is indeed impressive. 
although the fire is mighty, it's weakened to only one ten thousandth of its original power. It's still consuming my godly body, but it doesn't have any real effects now. Perhaps only 20% of my godly body will be gone when I get the black metal and leave. Actually, his godly body was already being consumed quickly, but Lo Feng remained fairly relaxed. Su. The golden horned beast dove down. The godly body was also consumed gradually. 99.9%, 99.7%, 99.5%, However, after a short while, the remote ocean body started to transfer godly power from the world ring to restore the golden horned beast body, and it went back to 100%. The remote ocean body had the same amount of godly power as the golden horned beast body did. Su. Su. Lo Feng kept diving down. The space inside the gourd was not large, having a diameter of around 6,000 miles, and the golden horned beast body reached the bottom quickly. However, once he hit the bottom, he started to succumb to the heat. The flames at the bottom of the gourd were more sizzling than in any other area. Apparently, it was the essence of the fire. The flames glinted purple. 97%. 94%. 91%. 88%. His godly body was being quickly consumed. No. I need to hurry. The golden horned beast reached the bottom where there were lots of materials. He grabbed the fourth black metal. Wang. There was dimming black light on the black metal and the material at the bottom. The golden horned beast wasn't able to catch the black metal with all the integrated black light. Howl. The golden horned beast looked down. The fire was worming its way inside the bottom of the gourd through the engravings in the black light. Energy accumulated at the bottom. Apparently, it was an engraving seal used to store the energies, and the materials were sealed under it. Trying to stop me by using an engraving seal without a master? He said. Break. His shy Wu wing slashed the black light. Pooh. The black light was cut in half. His hoof grabbed the black metal, and he swallowed it. The godly power recognized him as his master like before, and the information contained in the black metal was transferred to him. Go. The golden horned beast didn't dare hesitate. His godly body was down to only 62%, and the remote ocean body was at only 68%. Sue. The golden horned beast shrank to the size of a fist and flew out of the gourd through its mouth. He landed on a rock. Finally, I got it. The golden horned beast said, elated. Hong. An enormous amount of power suddenly arrived, frightening golden horned beast. No. Cutting the engraving seal alerted the craftsman master. He came back to his home to see what happened. You dare. To break my engraving? An ancient voice roared. Hong. A gigantic arm descended through all the fire, and the golden horned beast was seized. The golden horned beast felt the pressure pressing down on him. His godly body was quickly consumed. 50%. 42%. 36%. Supply. Remote ocean body. Supply. Golden horned beast grew anxious. His godly body was quickly restored by the energies from the remote ocean body. When the palm stopped exerting power, remote ocean had already used up his power entirely, and the power in the golden horned beast body was only at 42%. You survived my attack? The rocky arm grasped the golden horned beast. There was a rumbling sound. He was craftsman master, and the conception contained in that move was enough to annihilate an ordinary universe overlord. You withstood my grab and have only stolen a material that is of no use anyway, said craftsman master. I'll spare your life. Hung. Long. Long. The space was reversed. The golden horned beast felt the space and time around him changing, and he was already out in the space surrounding the craftsman star, when he began to see things clearly again, in front of one of the giant space whirlpools. There are 98,200 wormholes, said the giant form of craftsman master, standing 6 million miles tall. Two of them lead to places in the land of Extremis. The giant threw the golden horned beast into one of the giant space whirlpools, one bearing a tablet reading, Land of Extremis on it. I've given you a chance to survive, the voice said, entering into Lo Feng's mind, as the golden horned beast was tossed through the space whirlpool. Chapter 1056. Land of Extremis. Golden horned beast was thrown into the space whirlpool. And craftsman master, the mountain giant who was as tall as tens of millions of miles, stood quietly in the air, watching the space whirlpool that would lead to the land of Extremis. Craftsman Master was a mountain giant, millions of miles tall, with many gigantic glass arms sticking out of it. At one look, it would seem to have at least 100 gigantic arms. 
Furthermore, the stone face of the mountain bore an enormous pair of eyes. Golden horned beast, he said, don't blame me if you are trapped in the land of Extremis for trillions of years. Craftsman Master gazed at the space whirlpool and continued, all of these are teacher sitting mountain guests instructions. Craftsman Master could not help letting out a soft sigh. Poor fellow. Sitting mountain guests wish would always be Craftsman Master's command. He would carry out his orders without fail. Given his capability, his skills in making weapons, and his massive, mountainous godly body, he really had nothing to fear when facing a universe supreme master. Firstly, he was capable and had a massive godly body, in addition to a flying palace-type true treasure. Craftsman Star. He was able to fend for himself when facing other universe supreme masters. Secondly, he had an extensive network of friends. On the level of universe supreme masters alone, a few were very close to him. He was also close to the human race, the demon race, and several other races, as many would frequently employ his help in making true treasures. So, if any other universe supreme masters dared to command him about, he would dismiss them without a second thought. But things were different with Sitting Mountain Guest. Craftsman Master treated Sitting Mountain Guest with the utmost respect. Back in his younger days, he was passionate about making weapons and was very gifted in this aspect. During the earliest stage of the birth of the universe, when very few life forms existed, Craftsman Master was already a universe knight. Once, while making weapons, Sitting Mountain Guest happened to sit by his side and watch him work. At that time, he was furious. How could his skill of making true treasures be seen by other great beings who might pick up his skills secretly? He was fuming, but there was nothing he could do. Sitting Mountain Guest was already a universe supreme being at that point in time. His power to control the surrounding universe could have rendered Craftsman Master immobile. Thereafter, Sitting Mountain Guest gave his two cents worth on Craftsman Master's weapon-making skills, commending his merits, but also pointing out his shortcomings. He even gave pointers on how improvements could be made to boost his weapon-making skills. Craftsman Master had been appalled. During that period, the lonely Sitting Mountain Guest had resided on Craftsman Master's planet, where Craftsman Master was still a nobody and had yet to earn his reputation by remodeling a flying palace-type true treasure. Occasionally, Sitting Mountain Guest would give him some pointers. This had allowed Craftsman Master's skills to increase by leaps and bounds. Even his law comprehension showed tremendous improvement. Eventually, he achieved a breakthrough and attained the Universe Master level. His skills in making weapons also reached a very high standard. Your skills have already attained an extremely high level, Sitting Mountain Guest had said. My guidance is no longer useful. What happens next will be up to you to discover and experience. Sitting Mountain Guest had left him thereafter. From the beginning to the end, Sitting Mountain Guest had not mentioned anything about making him a disciple. He also had not taught him any self-cultivation techniques, nor had he given Craftsman Master any true treasures. Sitting Mountain Guest's help was merely staying on his planet for a longer time to guide him in improving his skill in making weapons. Still, Craftsman Master had always used the salutation of Teacher Sitting Mountain Guest. In his heart, he thought of Sitting Mountain Guest as his teacher. There were a few occasions where he asked Sitting Mountain Guest to be his teacher. But Sitting Mountain Guest was unresponsive. When Sitting Mountain Guest approached him with instruction this time around, he would certainly perform the task to his very best and absolutely without a trace of delay. Poor fellow. But you are one lucky fellow, Craftsman Master lamented with a sigh. Teacher Sitting Mountain Guest has set a test for you. To train you. I think it means that he thinks of you as his disciple. However, Teacher Sitting Mountain Guest has very high expectations. If you are unable to make it out on your own, you will be trapped in the land of Extremis for all eternity. Craftsman Master let out yet another sigh. Hua. The next instant, that massive being vanished into space and went back to Craftsman Star. A moment later, the three disciples of Craftsman Master flew down toward the foot of Craftsman Mountain, where over 500 universe knights and undying beings, all of whom were gifted with talents in making weapons, were kneeling in wait. Teacher has returned. Shouted one of the three disciples. Teacher has returned, announced another. You should all start preparing quickly. Soon, teacher will be testing you all. Only those who pass the final test get to become teacher's disciples. Upon hearing the shouts, everyone looked far into the distance with surprised and delighted expressions. From the buildings, the universe knights of the many races rushed out at top speed. Hurry up! Craftsman Master is about to make an appearance. Hurry up! The chance to enlist Craftsman Master's help in making true treasures is finally arriving. Hua! Hua! 
Hua. Thousands of universe knights came forth in large numbers. Remote Ocean Lo Feng. Said Chrysalis Knight. Craftsman Master is about to appear. Remote Ocean Lo Feng? Remote Ocean Lo Feng? Chrysalis Knight went to Lo Feng's abode to look for him, but he could not find him anywhere. He could not help but let out a sigh. In the Yinfa secret region, a lone universe planet ship cruised through space. Lo Feng's original earthling body sat in it, and beside him, a remote ocean body appeared. Earlier on, to ward off the blow craftsman master had dealt to Golden Horned Beast, remote ocean body had supplemented Golden Horned Beast's godly body with more power, thus using up all his godly power. He was annihilated as a result. Naturally, another remote ocean body would be formed. Where is it? Lo Feng muttered in alarm. My Golden Horned Beast body. Where has it gone to? Normally, I am able to connect with my Golden Horned Beast body through our consciousness, but I cannot sense its location. Lo Feng was taken aback. Nothing like this had ever happened before. Even on the original star, the two bodies had been able to sense each other's whereabouts. Where did Golden Horned Beast body go? Lo Feng wondered aloud. The land of Extremis. Where is it found in this universe? Lo Feng was growing increasingly perturbed. Even in his current standard, he still felt that the universe was a difficult book to read. There were always mysterious lands seemingly popping up out of nowhere. Going through that gigantic space whirlpool, Golden Horned Beast suddenly found himself in the middle of a starry sky. He looked around, feeling at a loss. This place. Where am I? Golden Horned Beast looked off into the distance. In the bright, starry sky, looking afar, there was the star level and the star traveler level. He could even see a gigantic red star. Given Golden Horned Beast's eyesight, the vast limitless galaxy he saw seemed like an ordinary starry sky. But Golden Horned Beast body was keenly aware that this place was nowhere near ordinary. He was unable to sense the space ripples, he also could not sense his god country or the virtual universe. How is this possible? Where are the space ripples? Golden Horned Beast let out a low growl while suspended in midair. He studied his surroundings. There are no spaces sealed, so where have all the space ripples disappeared to? Here in this vast starry sky, it was as though it was perfectly natural for space to be without a single trace of ripples. It was as if this place was completely isolated from the original universe. I cannot sense the virtual universe, and I cannot sense my god country. I was unable to connect to the virtual universe when I was in the original star, too, but this is only the second place in the entire universe, where I have been unable to connect to the virtual universe. Golden Horned Beast surveyed his surroundings. He was quite aware of the capabilities of the virtual universe, and a place that could cut off all contact with the virtual universe was certainly no ordinary realm. What about the space whirlpool? Golden Horned Beast looked around. He had arrived here immediately after stepping through that space whirlpool. Thereafter, the space whirlpool had disappeared. Why did it disappear? Could it be that the space whirlpool on the Craftsman Star can be transmitted to different spots randomly? Lo Feng was baffled. Back when he was at the Ancestral God Secret Region, he had met with a spate of random occurrences involving space whirlpools, where he was transported to the core lands of certain places. But Masha body had eventually undergone an evolution. Lo Feng's Masha body appeared in mid-air, while Golden Horned Beast body hid within the world ring. This land of Extremis. What secret does it hold? Why do I not see any form of danger here? Lo Feng scrutinized his surroundings, but because he could not sense his god country, there was no way he could utilize god country transportation. Hence, his injuries would not be able to recover. Teacher sitting mountain guest. What does he have in mind for me? Lo Feng wondered. Lo Feng was no fool. While planning a way to steal the fourth metal board, he had not confirmed whether there was any relation between craftsman master and teacher sitting mountain guest. However, when Golden Horned Beast was caught while trying to escape, Craftsman Master had shown up. Craftsman Master's appearance wasn't a surprise. What was surprising was the minor punishment he had meted out. He had not even taken back the metal board, nor had he taken any of Lo Feng's true treasures, before tossing him into the space whirlpool leading to the land of Extremis. What a weak race. The audacity to steal. Surely, Craftsman Master knew that for a being to come out of the Black Gourd alive, he must have a formidable true treasure armor, thought Lo Feng. Even though he knew this, Craftsman Master still did not take any of my valuables. How could he be so benevolent? Even a benevolent master would have killed me right away. And if he intended to punish me instead, there are many ways to do so. Why would he desert me in the land of Extremis? 
super great beings kill one another on the original star for the sake of obtaining top tier true treasures. Yet Craftsman Master is unable to see a valuable true treasure right before his eyes? No. I am truly a fool. This must have been teacher sitting mountain guest's arrangement. Lo Feng was grateful to sitting mountain guest for this, but he was doubtful of his intentions and motives. Sitting mountain guest usually showed much indifference to Lo Feng, but when he had instructed Lo Feng to obtain the first three black metal boards, Lo Feng had to obtain the three boards in three different stages, one when he was at sector lord level, the second when he was at undying level, and the third when he was at universe knight level. They were clearly three different tests. Back when I was seeking the green knight and the purple knight. I eventually ended up being sent to ice hell, Lo Feng recalled. If not for Master of Sky Wolf, I'm afraid I would have been there a long time. I would have had to kill a colossal number of great beings in ice hell to make it out alive. Is this like teacher sitting mountain guest's motive back then? Lo Feng could only speculate, as sitting mountain guest's arrangements were usually more casual and impromptu. Even if Lo Feng was able to escape thanks to Master of Sky Wolf and Primal Chaos City Leader, sitting mountain guest would not intervene. What about this time? What is his motive this time? If it weren't for Master of Sky Wolf and Primal Chaos City Leader, I would have been trapped in ice hell for a long, long time. Lo Feng looked up at the vast starry sky. In this mysterious land of Extremis, I can't sense my god country, nor the virtual universe. I can't even determine its universe coordinates. There is no way I can seek help. And if my godly body is depleted, I can't go to the remote ocean to recharge. The moment I fail, Lo Feng said to himself, my force armor, nine tiger river, and Shai Wu wings will be gone. I can't afford to worry. Regardless of what sitting mountain guest has in mind, he is training me, and I have improved my abilities so rapidly, all thanks to him. Regardless, capability is the fundamental concern. Lo Feng speculated no more. Su. Immediately, he transformed into a beam of light and flew off at top speed. He continued accelerating and soon reached the speed of light. Ha! Huh. Lo Feng's eyes widened. I have reached the speed of light. No. I am starting to exceed the speed of light. Why am I still not entering the dark universe? While in the form of light, Lo Feng was dumbfounded. What is this place? Is this really the original universe? Could it be that there is another universe that is similar to the original universe? Chapter 1057. The Prisoner in the Land of Extremis. He wasn't able to feel his god kingdom, and neither could he enter the dark universe and reach a speed faster than light. And there were no space ripples. Where am I? Lo Feng was still flying at high speed through space using his inertia. He looked around at all the stars gleaming. Wait, he said. This doesn't feel right. I'm already faster than the speed of light, and I should only be able to see the front. Lo Feng looked back, and he could still see the scene distinctly, which baffled him. He permeated his godly power and sensed light speed. I'm moving too fast, he said. So. Light speed in the land of Extremis is different from that in the original universe. Light speed in the original universe was 186,000 miles per second, while light speed in the land of Extremis was 100 times faster. The speed of godly power? Lo Feng frowned. Su. A beam of godly power spread, which made Lo Feng exclaim. The fastest godly power is 186,000 miles per second in the original universe. But light speed in the land of Extremis is 18 million miles per second. Su. Lo Feng accelerated and flew across the sky. Two times light speed in the original universe. Three times light speed in the original universe. He kept accelerating. The laws of the universe were sharply different in the land of Extremis. Lo Feng felt like he had around Zuo Shan Qi, but also as if he were in the primal universe. Zuo Shan Qi was a universe supreme master, and he was able to change all the laws in his surroundings, while the primal universe was an entirely different universe with some fundamental differences. Lo Feng kept speeding up, and the pressure on his godly body kept surging. The Masha body was 100 times stronger than an ordinary pinnacle emperor, and he was able to withstand the pressure. 100 times light speed in the original universe. I can speed up no more. Lo Feng wasn't able to accelerate any further, even after burning his godly power. He remained at 100 times the speed of light in the original universe. He was at light speed in the land of Extremis. Hua. Suddenly, the view behind him became dark, and Lo Feng was only able to see the starry sky in front of him. I didn't enter the dark universe even after hitting the speed limit. It seems that there's no dark universe in the land of Extremis. 
Lo Feng was perplexed. Let's see. What kind of place land of extremis is? He continued flying 100 times faster than light speed in the original universe. Inside Lo Feng's god kingdom. The remote ocean was churning, and Lo Feng sat on the square in front of his god kingdom. Although I'm trapped in land of extremis, I have gained more than I lost. At least I got the fourth black medal of the nine volume manual. Lo Feng smiled. The fourth black medal had been hidden in the mountainside of Craftsman Mountain and the information contained in the black metal was already transferred to him when the golden horned beast swallowed the black metal. He gathered the practice methods of the first five volumes. However, a lot of information was missing in the fourth black metal, and when combined with the first three, they gave the practice methods of the first volumes. I've obtained the first seven volumes of the nine volumes manual. Perhaps the last black metal can give me the last two volumes. I'll start practicing now. And so his original earthling body started the sixth volume of nine volume manual. Masha body kept flying, moving 100 times faster than light speed in the original universe, as the golden horned beast inside the world ring started to practice the sixth volume of the nine volume manual. Even if he failed to finish the sixth volume and his body turned into ashes, Lo Feng's godly body was strong enough to be immortal. His body could be recovered as long as there was a portion of it left. The ashes would be gathered, which meant he was able to practice the nine-volume manual the Inland of Extremis without having to worry about failure. He kept flying at the same speed for more than a year and finally flew into a galaxy. Lo Feng exclaimed, one star is jade, one is yellow and white, and one is rainbow-colored. When he reached the center of the galaxy, an old voice came out of the yellow star, and it reached Lo Feng's surroundings several seconds later. There is an intruder from another race in the land of Extremis. We've been alone for a long time, Demon Sword Knight, replied a wicked voice from the rainbow-colored star. We haven't seen any other races for more than 60,000 eras, said a cold voice from the Jade Star. Lo Feng was disturbed. Hung. A trace of invisible godly power penetrated Lo Feng as a soul attack, but Masha Body wasn't afraid of soul attack. He's an energy life form, and he doesn't fear soul attack, the wicked voice echoed through the sky. Let me crush him, said the cold voice. My turn, said the old voice. Lo Feng looked into the distance, and three beings flew out of the stars. They reached the speed that was 100 times that of the light speed in the original universe and dashed toward Lo Feng. My Masha body isn't good at fighting, he said. Hua. The three foot long golden horned beast floated in the sky with his wings open, and Masha body went into the world ring. Oh. A space beast? said one of the three beings. A golden horned beast, said another. Much better. The green being had a voice that was apathetic yet filled with aggression. The golden-horned beast floated in the sky and recognized all three of the universe overlords. They were universe-renowned universe overlords who had vanished from the universe a long time ago. They were Demon Sword Knight, Seat Yon Knight, and Feather Dark Horde Leader. The golden-horned beast's voice resounded through the sky. Demon Sword Knight, Seat Yon Knight, and Feather Dark Horde Leader. I can't believe you three are still alive. They slowed down and stopped in an area tens of thousands of miles away from Lo Feng. All three great beings were surprised. Somebody still remembers us, said Seat Yan Knight. We aren't forgotten, Feather Dark Horde leader said at the same time. Demon Sword Knight gazed at the golden horned beast indifferently and demanded, tell us now. What has happened in the past 200,000 eras? Seat Yan Knight and Feather Dark Horde leader also stared at the golden horned beast. Demon Blade Knight, the Golden Horned Beast growled. You speak as if commanding a slave. I don't like the way you talk. Although I empathize with you and I'm willing to tell you what's happened, the way you talk has disappointed me. Damn you. Demon Blade Knight's eyes glinted coldly. If you don't want to talk, then I'll beat the truth out of you. Hong. His godly body started to burn. Hua. A streak of jade light streaked through the sky and charged at the Golden Horned Beast. Lo Feng hadn't expected Demon Blade Knight to be so angry. He would have gladly answered him if Demon Blade Knight had asked nicely. From the bottom of his heart, Lo Feng was willing to have a conversation with those universe overlords. Unfortunately, Demon Blade Knight didn't view him as his equal. Charge. Seat Yan Knight said and instantly slammed Lo Feng with a staff that grew 6,000 miles long. Ha ha ha. Feather Dark Horde leader guffawed, and his voice pierced the golden horned beast body. Although Lo Feng's willpower and consciousness were at the universe overlord level, he was still affected. 
The golden horned beast started to burn his godly body, and he shook his wing to try to dodge the blade. Kai. The blade slashed toward the golden horned beast. Peng. The staff hit the head of the golden horned beast. Demon Blade Knight and Seat Yan Knight cooperated with each other perfectly, and Feather Dark Horde Leader was affecting Lo Feng's mind and willpower constantly. The Golden Horned Beast was weaker than those universe overlords, and his godly body was still injured from his the encounter at Craftsman Mountain. He could only stand there and be beaten by them. His wing is a true treasure. Seat Yan Knight shouted. And he's wearing true treasure armor, Feather Dark Horde Leader added. He's able to resist all the attacks from us. He must be wearing a senior true treasure armor. Kill him. Get the true treasures. The true treasure armor is mine, and you can have the others, Demon Blade Knight said coldly. Both Seat Yan Knight and Feather Dark Horde Leader were a bit angry, but they knew that Demon Blade Knight was stronger than them. Besides, they still hadn't found a way to get out of Land of Extremis. Seat Yan Knight and Feather Dark Horde Leader nodded. Okay, said Seat Yan Knight. Okay, agreed Feather Dark Horde Leader. Golden Horned Beast, we don't care what's going on outside. We want your true treasures more. Then Demon Blade Knight looked at the Golden Horned Beast and said, Die. Howl. Snarl. Hua. Hua. Endless golden waters spread and enveloped the sky for tens of millions of square miles. Nine strange beasts swam in the water, and the Golden Horned Beast stood in the middle. Feather Dark Horde Leader, Seat Yan Knight, and Demon Blade Knight were all shocked. The domain type true treasure. They said as one. Want my true treasures? Said the Golden Horned Beast. Under the pressure of the Golden River, the three universe overlords couldn't so much as touch the Golden Horned Beast. The Golden Horned Beast glared at them, infuriated. Let's see who dies first. Chapter 1058. The Golden River in the Sky. The water in Nine Tiger River flowed through the sky and trapped the three universe overlords. They quickly slowed down. What should we do? He has a domain-type true treasure, and we can't even get close to him, said Seat Yan Knight, sounding anxious. Demon Blade Knight, however, frowned. Feather Dark Horde Leader, can you attack you using your illusion and slow him down? No, I can't, answered Feather Dark Horde Leader, sounding helpless. He has incredibly strong willpower and a strong mind, I can only affect him to a very small extent. He's still able to fly and dodge perfectly. Under Soul Illusion, some top-tier techniques might not be perfectly performed. However, it would still be easy to fly. Forget it, Demon Blade Knight said. We can't kill him, as he has a domain-type true treasure. Let's spare his life and leave. Okay. I guess we have to do this. Seat Yan Knight, Demon Blade Knight, and Feather Dark Horde Leader started to fly back to their planets. Want to flee? Asked a furious voice, and the Golden Horned Beast started to chase Demon Blade Knight. Humph. You dare to chase me even after I spared your life? Demon Blade Knight glared at the Golden Horned Beast coming after him. Perhaps I might not be able to catch you in your domain, but don't blame me for killing you, since you delivered yourself to me. Sounds like my life is in your hands, said the Golden Horned Beast. Ha ha ha. Hilarious. Demon Blade Knight, let's see who'll die. The Golden Horned Beast shook his wings and dashed at Demon Blade Knight. Under his burning godly power, his shy Wu wings slashed Demon Blade Knight. And the nine strange beasts in the Nine Tiger River also encircled Demon Blade Knight. The nine strange beasts were mighty and were able to severely injure secondary universe knights with the help of the Golden Horned Beast's godly power and amplification. As for universe overlords, though they were not able to hurt them, they could suppress their speed. You must be seeking your own demise, Demon Blade Knight said with disdain. He had scorned the Golden Horned Beast since the moment he first saw him. You're too weak to fight me. And the only reason you're still breathing is your background, coming from the Space Beast Alliance and being bestowed an incredible true treasure. You couldn't hope to fight against me. Hung. 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 The noise was deafening as Demon Blade Knight and the Golden Horned Beast began to fight within the Golden River. The Golden Horned Beast was only able to concentrate on one enemy at a time. Seat Yan Knight and Feather Dark Horde Leader watched the fight from a distance, relaxed. He's just playing with fire, said Seat Yan Knight. Not only did the Golden Horned Beast not flee with his domain type true treasure when he had the chance, but he dared to try to fight. Let's see how Demon Blade Knight crushes him, said Feather Dark Horde Leader. The fight continued. One minute, five minutes, ten minutes. Although it was a fierce battle, it was the Golden Horned Beast who was haunting Demon Blade Knight. The golden horned beast kept being hit, but he didn't back down. 
he continued bringing the fight to Demon Blade Knight. Seat Yon Knight and Feather Dark Horde leader watched, stupefied. This. Demon Blade Knight has burned 1% of his godly body at this point, Seat Yon Knight said with shock. But that golden horned beast's force doesn't change at all. His godly body isn't weakened at all, even after burning for such a long time, said Feather Dark Horde leader, also stunned. Demon Blade Knight ceased being aloof and disdainful. Instead, he was distressed and furious. His godly body hasn't changed at all after being hit for such a long time. But how? No wonder it's a senior true treasure armor. He sensed that the golden horned beast was weak, and he even thought that the golden horned beast hadn't triggered its third form. However, even the second form of a senior true treasure armor could weaken attacks to one one thousandth. Even senior true treasures are useless. Break. A jade blade light tore through the golden river and slashed the golden horned beast. Poo. 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 There were nine attacks in total, and each successive attack was more powerful than the previous one. The ninth attack consumed 2% of Demon Blade Knight's godly body. Now 8% of Demon Blade Knight's godly body had been consumed. What? Demon Blade Knight was terrified. He glared at the golden horned beast. His godly body isn't weakened at all? Howl. The golden horned beast howled and shook his wings. His wings tried to strike Demon Blade Knight again. Demon Blade Knight was in a fluster now. The technique in his attack is only mediocre, he said. Apparently, his law comprehension is not deep enough to drive the third form of a senior true treasure armor. Besides, I have a senior true treasure godly blade, and I just performed the ultimate technique I've perfected in eternity in the land of Extremis. Even a universe overlord with a senior true treasure armor should be severely injured. Hung. The golden horned beast dashed toward Demon Blade Knight again. Demon Blade Knight, I already told you. The golden horned beast shouted. Let's see who will die. Demon Blade Knight's eyes glinted with fear as he finally understood the golden horned beast's plan. Damn it. Demon Blade Knight tried to fly away. Hwa. 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 Under the pressure of the golden waters, he wasn't able to fly fast enough. The golden horned beast was 100 times faster than him, and he caught up with Demon Blade Knight instantly. Even if my godly body only has 42% left, it's a godly body with 600 million times that of a sector lord. It's millions of times stronger than yours. Besides, my force armor is a pinnacle true treasure. Even if you have a senior true treasure blade, and even if your technique is powerful, the force armor can weaken it to one ten thousandth. I might not be able to kill you. But I can slowly consume your body. You can't even run away under the influence of Nine Tiger River. You can only die. The golden horned beast howled. Demon Blade Knight had lost all his pride and only wanted to fly away. Seat Yon Knight and Feather Dark Horde leader both understood what was happening, and they immediately left the domain of Nine Tiger River. Quick. Go. Said Seat Yon Knight. Go. What a terrific golden horned beast. Feather Dark Horde leader said in amazement. The technique he used to defend against us was clumsy, Seat Yon Knight said. It was like a technique from a secondary universe knight. I thought his true treasure armor only reached the second form, and I thought there was no doubt that Demon Blade Knight's ultimate technique would severely injure the Golden Horned Beast. But neither of us was correct. Demon Blade Knight's godly body was sharply weakened, but that Golden Horned Beast's godly body didn't change at all. Both Feather Dark Horde Knight and Seat Yon Knight were thrilled. He's dead, Seat Yon Knight said. Demon Blade Knight's definitely going to die, agreed Feather Dark Horde Knight. Feather Dark Horde Knight and Seat Yon Knight exchanged eye contact. Both of them knew now that the Golden Horned Beast couldn't be killed. Demon Blade Knight couldn't run away under the pressure from the domain type true treasure. If he kept burning his godly body, his godly body would keep being weakened. And he would fall at some point. But if Demon Blade Knight stopped burning his godly body, he would be 1000 times weaker, and Nine Tiger River would be able to keep injuring him. Demon Blade Knight would die no matter what. Demon Blade Knight transmitted his voice reluctantly. Golden Horned Beast, spare my life, please. No chance. The Golden Horned Beast roared. Wait for your demise. You're pushing me. Demon Blade Knight was infuriated. Yes, I am. Weren't you trying to kill me? Your law comprehension is indeed deeper than mine, but you'll die anyway. The Golden Horned Beast kept charging Demon Blade Knight, who had no way to escape under the pressure from Nine Tiger River. This was what made domain-type true treasures so precious. 
This one could trap the enemies when the user was at an advantage, help the user get away when he was at a disadvantage, and slaughter weaker opponents all at once. You, you, you. Demon Blade Knight roared in exasperation. Wait for your death, the golden horned beast said and kept charging. Even if Demon Blade Knight was many times better at fighting than the golden horned beast, his godly body was being weakened continuously. But he didn't dare stop burning his godly body, as if he did, his defending power would tumble. His godly body would then be consumed even faster. 60%. 50%. 40%. His godly body kept being weakened, and so did his power. And as he lost his power, his godly body was consumed more quickly. Golden Horned Beast. Demon Blade Knight roared. If I'm resurrected by turning back time, I'll become a universe master and kill you. Then I'll kill you again. The Golden Horned Beast bellowed. Remember, it's me who will kill you. Don't look for the wrong one. Unfortunately, you're a universe overlord. Perhaps it will be difficult to resurrect you. Just, just wait for it. Demon Blade Knight shouted. He was from Nine Territory Alliance, and there wasn't a universe supreme master in that alliance. Once a universe overlord was killed. The Nine Territory Alliance would need to ask for help from other powers or some lone universe supreme masters, which would be costly. Demon Blade Knight wasn't sure whether the Nine Territory Alliance would be willing to pay the price. 32%. Demon Blade Knight could feel his godly body being weakened, and he got more infuriated. If he didn't self-destruct, he would be knocked out, and his soul might be controlled. But if he did self-destruct, he would die. And perhaps he would remain dead forever. I'll definitely die if I don't self-destruct, but at least I might still have a chance if I do so, he said. Goddamn you, Golden Horned Beast. Demon Blade Knight roared. Ah. Hung. Demon Blade Knight blew himself up with a cry. The energies from the explosion swept across Nine Tiger River and annihilated it after producing tumbling waves. Humph, the golden horned beast said, looked at it coldly. I was planning to have a conversation with you, but you insisted on robbing me. Unfortunately for you, your valuables are mine now. He waved his hands. The two valuables flew toward him. They were a green armor and a jade true treasure godly blade. He only had two true treasures? The golden horned beast took the true treasures. Seat Yon Knight and Feather Dark Horde leader witnessed what happened and sighed. A universe overlord had just died. Hua. Hua. The waves were churning, and the golden horned beast stepped on the waves and transmitted his voice, saying, Seat Yon Knight, Feather Dark Horde leader, are you still going to be my enemies?